all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you first of all my voice is kind of tired so i will try not to speak for long today um i wish you really a very great time to come for this year but for, don't forget please that you know the new year is nothing new i mean it's just new day for what happened yesterday so either we make it for better or we make it worse and most of the time we are the one who make the difference we are the one who make decision but yet we claim things uh, around us sometimes yes things out of hand like you know somebody have an accident which is not his fault so things happen but most of things happen in our life because we do wrong and then we blame others for wrong and even we blame god for wrong and we say if god is good why he let that happen to me so be aware that you do what you do to yourself as an example your health you know you take care of your health you will have you will be more healthy you eat junky food you will eat junky uh, you sit all day you don't walk you don't do any kind of uh, activities you will get uh, overweight uh, it's not god who made you overweight it's not god who made you not healthy it's you you know don't take care of yourself you smoke you you know you drink and then you suffer from cancer or from uh, etc so be careful so we wish you really the best take care of yourself and your family and be careful that your body is a temple given to you by god and take care of it now our topic today is about allah hands <clears throat> Now I choose this picture. Like there is some, I found some pictures in uh, in the internet for uh, some uh, gods who have hands, many hands. But this is not really the topic. The topic is about Allah have two hands in the right of his shoulder. You know the Muslims, they are trying their best to avoid what is in their religion. If you notice, uh, a Muslim, uh, Abdul, a kid, who debated uh, David Wood, he made a video lately, and we made a, a comment about it. He said, well, you know, he said that Allah has parts. <laughs> Allah is not divided, and we are not saying that your God is divided. But yes, he has parts. And actually, his parts are funny. There is tons of videos in YouTube explain Allah hands and Allah foot and Allah shin and by the way in case you do not know I advise you to download them because the Muslims are flagging those videos which made by Muslims in order to uh, uh, to to hide what those uh, what, what this teaching bring as humiliation to Muslims so they are flagging videos Muslims flagging videos of Muslims speaking about Allah having hands and uh, you know like lately i was trying to watch a video of uh, the guy his name sheikh Faiz, and i found the muslims are flagging his video and they say it's offensive but the guy is just saying nothing except what he learned about his god why the muslim don't flag al-bukhari hey muslims i want you to flag sahih al-bukhari why you don't flag sahih muslim what about we flag the quran time will come and the muslim will flag everything around them Muslims are the same as a bird, the ostrich. When danger comes, they put their, hand in, their, their head in the sand and they say, we don't see, we don't know. They think that it's not there. So my friend, you cannot hide it. The Quran says Allah have hands. The Hadith says Allah have two hands and they are in the right side. And this is the one that's talking is your prophet. So what about we flag Muhammad too? Shall we flag Muhammad? Hey Muhammad, you are offending the Muslims. Prophet Muhammad, you are offending the Muslims. Shame on you. Obviously, Muhammad is not a Muslim. You will come, uh, Mr. Kaleen. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correctly as a Muslim. You are welcome. We are welcome Muslims here. And by the way, we don't hate Muslims and we don't appreciate anyone to teach hate against Muslims. We love you, my friend, and we wish you a very happy new year, uh, the year of the Lord, the year of Christ. May the Lord bless your family and yourself. Uh, but remember, uh, to, re to receive the blessing of the Lord, you have to accept him. You have to invite him to your house.
the blessing of the Lord will come to our house if we invite the Lord to come to our house so I am I invite you as a Muslim to invite the Lord the Messiah to your house and I am no one to speak to you about the Messiah the Messiah speak of himself read the Bible read the amazing wisdom of Jesus and compare between the silly teaching of Muhammad and the silly teaching of a hadith and the silly teaching of Allah and then read what Jesus said and you will be amazed uh, actually this year is a very good year for me because a lot of Muslims left Islam and that make me happy that make me really have a reward which I, I really uh, I really appreciate uh, all right hello uh, yes Prince, I'm up I mean, we have spoken for uh, today, uh, yesterday or for two days. I have a question for you. Sure. Uh, I have. Uh, I'm. I want to know whether um, the scholars are, who translate from Arabic to English are lying to me in a spe uh, spe uh, specific case. I have sent in the chat a picture About? of altafsphere.net because I have uh, watched a video from you. And uh, it was about um, uh, uh, Surah 9, first, uh, verse uh, 49. 49. Okay. Yes, yes. And then I have uh, seen what you said, <clears throat> and you have proved it. <clears throat> first. And then I uh, went to altafsir.net <clears throat> to uh, Jalalain. Hmm. In English, he uh, they changed the... Uh, the, the um, as usual um, yeah and uh, can you uh, say uh, show me that in arabic from uh, no uh, jada lane it's the story which happened in reality no problem uh, you, you know remember always yes. uh, the one who wrote history about islam is muslims right yeah, yeah, yeah okay of course, of course. so anything they say there if the Muslim they would say to me, Christian Prince, you are lying, that's mean they are lying yeah. about their 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 prophet. That's it's mean they are lying, yes. not me, right? So yes. the Muslims, in order to get away yes. with the with the madness they have in their cult, they accuse yes. anything, anyone who say anything embarrassing about their prophet, uh yeah. they say to him, You are lying, you know. Mm -hmm. So and always you will notice that the English translation far from what is written in Arabic. Okay, yeah, you know? yeah. So uh, uh, if we go like uh, if we go like right now, I will go to a Jala Lane. You know, you, you, we have a Jala Lane in English, we, and we will go to a Jala Lane in Arabic. Yeah. Let us see. Wait, I'm searching uh, YouTube again where you are live. Um, you are live with. Um, yeah, I, I'm live. Arabic. Let us see first. Arabic. Let us see first what Abni Kathir will say in Arabic. Okay. 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 I have seen that uh, a lot of other scholars uh, are saying the story. So, I which, just which one you yeah. want? Uh, uh, okay, wait. I okay, okay. Now I on uh, YouTube again. Um, I when you when you go to our chat, you don't need it to go. Uh, when you uh, pick Jella Lane, mm, you want a Jella Lane. English. So you want a Jella Lane. Yes, because in English they uh, to tell me a, a different story that the <laughs> pe the person who uh, doesn't want to fight uh, would said had been said no no I don't want to fight because I can uh, uh, hold me back I w just want to see that this is a lie so okay, let's see. that is more, get I'm, more clear I'm just trying me. to find a Jedi lane in Arabic here so we okay, can go okay. there where is a Jedi lane here we go Uh, this one is called Hashiyat. Uh, 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 this is not a Jalalain. Hold on, let us see. Yeah. <clears throat> Let us see. Uh, 
I'm trying to find uh, yeah, the, the Saudi government website. Okay. Because uh, LTFC doesn't... Have Actually, here it should have a Jalalain, but I am not sure why it's Raya saying here. Let us okay. see. Because this website should have everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. But uh, now you don't find it, okay? No, the, uh, the, the list is big. You know, uh, yeah. you have to go by the uh, list one by one. Let us see. 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 Attack the book. Yeah, no, I see. You know, this yeah. is Tafsir al Tabari. But let me see. Um, a Jalalain. I, I, I know that the story is in the um, in the um, Tafsirs. I just want to see how they lie to me. You know what I mean? I uh, I, I chosen uh, Jalalain just uh, not because I wanted to check Jalalain. I uh, just pick someone. And uh, then okay. I, I see. On I see. Yeah, and I All want right. only to see with my eyes that, that is alive again. In this mm -hmm. case, when you say, okay, not in this case, uh, in, on Arabic they have talked another way too, then I know it. I just want to know whether they lie in this specific case. All right. Uh, no, like you see, I am in the in the Saudi website, and yeah. I don't see a Jalali in the list. I don't know why. See, this is Tafsir uh, al Saudi, al Wasit, al Baghawi, Ibn Kathir, al Qurtubi, al Tabari, and Dais. Here, in this website, mm -hmm. I found a Jalali, but this is like an interpretation of the Jalali. Oh, okay. Um, I found al Qurtubi. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> this is why sometimes, like, it's important to, um, you know, to know the language because yeah. then, you know, nobody can fool you and nobody yes. can play with the meaning. Mm. Yeah. A friend of me today showed me a, a video from uh, prophecies from Muhammad, I had I had to hold me back. back. Prophecy. Muhammad, you have a prophecy? Uh, yeah, okay. he just... <clears throat> I found I you at Jalalain. I found you at Jalalain. Yeah. It says here. Yeah, yeah. This is Tafsir at Jalalain. This is islamlibrary.net. Yeah. It says, and some of them, they say, uh, uh, please, uh, uh, like, excuse me and don't uh, tempt me uh, mm -hmm. uh by temptation uh like you know so then he says and some of them they say excuse me don't uh, i will not go with you in war and don't tempt me it was yeah. a man his name is a jud ibn qais mm -hmm. the prophet he said to him yeah can't you handle uh, uh the 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 blondie women uh uh which mean like uh, he's trying to tempt him like don't you like the blondie women and uh -huh. he said he said to him and i am actually in love with the blondie women and i am afraid if i see them and i will not be hold, be able to my, hold myself okay but that is the same what uh Al-Jalalain told yeah that will be close to the english one but why uh is it a little bit different to that what uh the others say or is it the same but, but you will notice here actually if you go yeah. in the English translation, because this is part one, part, ah, they... part two. If you if you go to the English translation, you will see the English translation is even longer, right? Do you see how short okay, here yeah, it yeah. is here? You know. Yes. So yes. Uh, um, I'm not sure really if there is a page yeah. to come after that here because I click there's nothing. Yeah. You see, this is what I found in the internet in front of me. I don't have the book with me. 
to open oh, okay, it and yeah, that yeah. page to see exactly what is written there. But I searched on the internet and here we go, it says Tafsir al Jalani, and it doesn't give more details. But more details can be found in other interpretation like at Tabari, Al Qurtubi, okay, etc. Okay, okay. You know, yeah. But in this case, they didn't. But wait, when I go to our chat, I have, uh, I just want to see um, the English version. Uh, maybe whether they left that uh, Muhammad told them, do you not, uh, are you not, don't want to get the girls? Yeah, but remember, Jalalain, like he is a new scholar compared to the rest, you know, so he's like a yes. person who defend Islam is oh, not okay. like, uh, same as Ibn Kathir, actually. Ibn Kathir, he came more than 600, 700 years after Muhammad. So mm -hmm. the more you get close to that, our time, the more the 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 Muslim they filter their explanation, try to make it look nicer because uh, uh, people they have more knowledge and they are smarter and they are more educated. You know what I mean? So yes, yes, story, yes, stories which was is taught in the old days, it's not fit for today. So what they try to do, they try to filter it. Uh, they filter uh, they filtered it uh, in the Jalalain because in English they left uh, the part where Muhammad told to the uh, the other. Uh, person uh, do you want the girls yeah here, here it says in the front of me I can give you the link you know you can take it to Google translation it says yeah. uh, uh, that uh, the, the prophet he said to him uh, yeah. he, do you have a handle do you have a patient and like and you can yeah. do you like is this juice him with the, with the blonde girls when he asked for which mean you know mm -hmm. now they say they say here they will say to you he is not talking about women here he's saying can you handle can't you handle the 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 children of the Roman you know not about mm -hmm. women and the guy he said well I am in love with the mm -hmm. uh, blondy women and I, I I am afraid that if mm -hmm. I see them I will not be having patient on them you know mm -hmm. so what they will say here that the guy is making excuse that not to go to war because, because he be is uh, yeah people. because he is the one it's not Muhammad seducing him this is what uh, it says here in Arabic you know and that is the yeah but this is not but this is a different the, story yeah. this is a different story you see if we yeah. go to the earlier the the, the early yeah, yeah, yeah. the early yeah, stories yeah. you see at Tabari and at Tabari okay. is a 310 uh, uh, yeah, after yeah. Hijrah yeah, you know yeah, so he's a lot earlier uh, you will find that, that he so. mentioned that uh, so obviously you know they took off the story from here and mm. you know they try to filter it to make it like the guy he is the guy who is yeah, saying yeah, i am you know I understand. but the story okay, thank you. yeah but the story is totally different now what what is the prophecy they told you hmm? you said to me they told you ah, a prophecy okay. <laughs> right right uh, uh i searched uh, the arabic word he, uh, he he sent me a video uh, where uh, um, many prophecies and most of them are garbage and um uh, told me uh, without um, any hadith number it's just a video from uh, a scholar in the new time mm. and then he told me um, a prophecy about a satellite um, that would be nice yeah can you give it to me maybe you can <laughs> search, it, search it in the internet right. and give me a link so we can laugh together okay wait, wait, wait. I uh, find it uh, yeah uh, the Arabic word yeah. It is uh, dishes on Arabic. What muva muva salat? What is it? Muva salat, muva salat. In, um, yeah, I, I, yes, yes. I will find it. I will find it. No problem because there's a they have okay, a they have a they have right. a site for Quran miracles. I can yeah. search for it and can I can find it. Let me let me search for it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. the, the Muslims they are funny people and you know. I mean, when you yeah, are yeah, yeah. when you have a bankruptcy, what you will do? You know, when you have a uh -huh. bankruptcy, when you have bankruptcy, you are out of everything. You you look for pennies. Yes. Uh, but anyway, the 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 there, they are they are they are trying to say that the guy is the one saying I am yeah, I am tempted yeah, by women, okay. not Muhammad saying that. But as you see, the original of the story is different. Yes, right. Yeah. Let us see the satellite. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. This is this is a website. Yeah. Have all the the Muslim. Uh, fiction miracles. Let's see if we can find the satellite here story. <clears throat> mm. Until now, I don't see the satellite. I uh, look like there's no satellite here. <clears throat> okay, that is a lie because I searched it too, but I did couldn't find it again. He says, uh, from satellite, um, yeah, 
It's not so important. I, it's clear for me that. No, no, just for a, for a comedy, you know. For me, it's not. Also, uh, it's just for <laughs> love, you know. It's just. Uh, it, 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 uh, wait, wait, wait! I uh, show you the video. Yes. No, so I can, I, the, the problem I can't play videos because they will flag okay. me for copyright. You know, this is the issue. Ah, okay, okay. So. Yeah. Okay, when you couldn't find it, maybe it doesn't don't exist. Thank you. No, no, no I'm sure they it, uh, they fabricate, they make it exist. No problem. But uh, the just it's, it's uh, about dishes. Uh, uh, anything mm. about dishes? Wait, wait. Satellite I find dish. A, uh, no, no. They interpret dishes to satellite because it's. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I know that. I know you are talking about at park. At park. I know. Okay. Uh, um, Spirit uh, search in the internet. Speak about satellite when dish. You, when you saw thousand, also here's a video, 1,300 years ago, he predicted that satellite dishes, TV sets, and earphones. Yeah, right. May, for example. Yeah, I saw actually here. Yeah. Okay, let's see this one, and so we can laugh together. Okay. Just for a comedy. Yeah, okay, that's cool. All right, I found this is just an article here. Yeah. Hadith claimed predict satellite dishes. Yeah. Apologist Hamza Yusuf quoted Hadith narrated yes, yes. by Ibn Mas'ud in the chapter of uh, uh, Kitab al Fitan. And he claimed the phrase Tawasul al Atbaq, which is translated as dishes will be communicating constantly. Mm. And then he says, <clears throat> as taken from here, which is Lisan al Arab, the explanation is completely, completely bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is look like this is not a Muslim website. This is maybe, maybe it's a Muslim, yeah. I don't know, but they are like uh, saying this is stupid. Okay. Uh, what it meant by a talk is a, is a uh, uh, foreigner and those far from each other. Okay. Specifically referring to liars rather than dishes, and yes, mm. yes, this in Arabic we say tabaqat, tabaqat, which means layers, not dishes, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. And from each other, atbaq is specifically referring to liars rather than dishes. In other words, people of different social standing. And mm. uh, if you think miraculous, okay, yeah. And actually, you know, um, yeah, it's a silly, stupid thing. Anyway, if, yes. there is, if there is an Muslim want to call me and yeah. they want to show us what uh, if the Quran have a miracle or Muhammad he says something amazing, we would like to hear. No problem. Okay. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah, when I get some ideas, I just tell you because I'm not a Muslim anymore. I'm happy have, for you, my friend. Happy that you left. Yeah. Look, look what look I, what this Muslim he said uh, in the text. Look what this Muslim he said in the text. I made yeah. a screenshot. He said, "Yeah, eight hours ago." Uh, CP is faking up debates on screen by editing and in acting and he is no longer believable or trustworthy CP does not accept invitation from Muslims for debate in public note <laughs> for the attention reader the reader of the readers Sami is mm. Tari Sami is Tari uh, this is a Muslim mm. kid you know uh, yeah. of answering Christianity challenge CP to debate and mm. CB back down, and he did not accept that debate. I'm here for the, for the last twenty years. <laughs> yeah. Where is the guy? You know, call me. Uh. <laughs> I mean, come on. Let me tell you, my friend, the the honor of answering Christianity. He debated me, and I made him shish kebab. The debate is there, Abdul. <laughs> so who is this guy? This guy, he right there. He is a kid, and not only that. You, you go, you find that uh, Sami Zatari. He made an article saying to uh, the honor of answering. There are a bunch of kids. He's saying to him, please, please, please take down all my articles because they are full of errors. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then Osama Abdullah, he refused to take them down because they are those articles bringing people to read them, you know, but he wants people to come to his website. So he himself, he admit that he is an idiot. Uh, yes. Anyway, and it challenged to debate, okay, and CB backed down and did not accept the debate. Instead, mm. the coward wanted to debate to be held in his own place, in his in my own place. What is that? Even and, in your internet. Yeah, words. and act as a moderator. So, so he uh. could take much advantage of the presence 
uh, of his Christian friend, friend, friends. I mean, the friend, the friends are around yes. me here. <laughs> we are on the internet, my friend. Since CP has been running away from Sammy, no, running away. Sammy decided to come. You know, let me tell you what's uh, what this kid, Sammy. Sammy is a kid, literally as a kid. He posed a challenge for a Christian prince to debate in a website, but he never came to me. Mm. It's like now. I go yeah. and post in a, in a Chinese website, says, Christian prince, I challenge you to debate me. But I never came to mm. call a Christian prince. And by the way, at that time, I have a I have a chat room open in Paltok 24 hours, seven days a week. And and you, if everyone can come, I know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, two, two topics if you want to just when nobody calls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, since a week, I only you watching your videos the whole day and laughing <laughs> my soul out of me. Since a week, I just watching your videos and don't stop to laugh. Um, two topics okay. if you want to. To talk uh, a little bit about it. First topic is the most uh, Muslims today claim that um, uh, the Bible and the Torah is um, false hmm. by the time. Hmm. Is there a proof of their of their claim in the Quran, or is it just uh, execute so that they can call uh, that their religion make further more sense? You know what I mean. Actually, this is absolutely against the Quran teaching, and the Quran yes. confirm, uh, confer, confirm that the Quran confirm okay. what is with uh, uh, possessed in the hand of the Christians and the Jews. So here you will see, as an example, in chapter yes. uh, chapter two, verse number eighty nine. Yes. Chapter two ninety one, chapter two one o one, chapter two, verse number two thirteen. Look how many chapter. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, actually, no, uh, the uh, did it to 30 to 13, three chapters in front of us, at least here. Yes, yes, it says here, and this is the Muslim translation. Mm -hmm. Read with me carefully what it says. This is chapter yeah. 2, verse number 89. Do you see what it says? It's in Arabic, uh, no, in English. I'm showing you in English. Yeah, I have to wait a little bit so it comes. Okay, 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 okay. And when there comes to them, a uh, and then I can read any more boo, uh, book from Allah confirming what is with them, although from of all they had prayed for victory against okay. those. That's it. Confirming mm -hmm. what is, what with, is them. with them. How yeah. you can confirm what is with them, and then you say to us, our book is corrupt. Yeah. If Allah, so Allah, Allah if Allah confirm what is with us and it is wrong, it means Allah is a false too. Yeah, I understand. No. So it uh, after the Muslims can see the Bible and that are many contradictions to their religion, then they uh, told the claim. You know what I mean? My friend, at the end of the day, when a Muslim he accused the Bible to be corrupt, he's talking about the Bible of Allah. Yeah. So course, what is my problem? I love. You know, yeah, if a Muslim yeah. he want to say to me from until, from now until ten thousand years from now from from now. Mm -hmm. That the Bible of Allah is corrupt. I laugh. I said, okay, so what my problem? <laughs> Go ask your God yeah. why his book is corrupt because this is the Bible of Allah. We don't believe yeah. in Allah, he sent the Bible. You believe in Allah, mm -hmm. send the Bible. Okay, ask your God, Allah, how stupid he is to the point he sent books he cannot protect. Yeah, yeah so what's my problem? But but the thing is, they not even have a, a point where then can where they can uh, make this claim you know what i mean yeah but they cannot and you know it's a it's, it, most of the muslims are copy paste but as long as the muslims agree that the one who sent the torah and the one who sent the the gospel is allah so shouldn't mm. they ask allah why allah you send the book but you don't want it to protect the book they yeah. say to us allah will protect only the quran but this is mean that allah he he's elective in his words mm. that's mean he favors some words over some other words so this is not my fault this is his fault the book belong to the author not to the to the reader mm. you know if if somebody send me a book and then this book i find it's corrupt now mm. is it my fault as a reader or it's a fault as an author he did not protect his book especially author. if he is divine god he's not just an, a man you see for me i have books if somebody tried to play with my books i can sue him take him to court right yeah. so i can still yeah. protect my books this is god who can destroy anyone mm. who want to do something yeah so why he sent the book and the Muslim saying to us that he his book is corrupted? That's that's additional proof that Allah is weak God and he is fake God. Yes, you know, and this additional proof that he cannot be the one who sent the gospel. 
mm, you know yes. in different verse in the Quran it says that nobody can exchange the word of Allah mm, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. so how nobody yeah. can exchange the word of Allah and then mm. we we find that's you know uh, 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 the Muslim themselves they say it is you know the word of Allah is changed the Quran mm -hmm. mentioned in one place that the Jews uh, use the word tahrif yeah. But it doesn't say they are they are changing the book or what they are saying. The story mm. behind that that uh, uh, that they change the location of the verses from its places. They displace this this place. Uh, mm. And if mm. you go into the interpretation, you will see it says mm. they change the interpretation of it, not corrupting mm. the book. You know. Okay. Mm. So mm. here, this is the only verse speaking about. And of the Jews, there are, there are those who displace words from their uh, right place but if you go okay. and see the story you will see that muhammad uh, yeah. uh the jews they asked him to to be a judge about a woman who committed adultery and a jew he put his yeah. hand over the line in the book to hide the word it says stone them you know mm. and this is what this is about he just put his hand there it's not even changed the question you know it's just he put his hand to hide the sentence mm. okay, and this okay, is what okay, the interpretation okay. says you know so mm. it doesn't say anywhere that really they changed the book yeah. and even if mm. if so here we go we have uh, this will be a contradiction in the quran because the quran says in many places that allah confirmed yeah. what is between their hands and uh, contradiction to the and not to forget that muhammad himself he took an oath mm. on, on the uh, on the torah yeah. okay so yeah. how how it's corrupt and then you take an oath in the torah you know yeah, that's mean you are corrupt too make more sense you know? okay another question uh, why the, uh, it's a question what i didn't understand as a muslim until now why they claim that jesus wasn't crucified just because muhammad he said so muhammad he follow a, 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 a sect <laughs> you see I, did, did uh, you ask yourself why the muslim don't make fun of jesus being born of a virgin they why don't. they don't make a uh, joke they don't make fun of that because simply the quran says she, mary she was virgin correct yeah, so yeah, it's not yeah. because it's logical it's just yeah. because the Quran says so. Otherwise, if the Quran did not say that, the Muslim they will make fun of us. They say stupid people. Look at them. They believe that even Mary she was a virgin. So yeah. just because Muhammad he said that in the Quran, they accept it. They, nobody discuss. You know. Yeah. So if Muhammad he said in the Quran that Jesus was crucified, they will not discuss. They will say yes. You know, this is the whole story. And the funny, okay, okay, okay. the funny, if you watch debate of Muslims, like as an example, this kid he yeah. was debating David. What he said, do you know that the book of John written more than sixty years? after jesus 60 years okay. or 90 years yeah okay yeah. hold on so you ex you don't accept somebody to witness for jesus because he came 60 years after jesus according to you who wrote a book mm. that not came he wrote the book after 60 years but yeah. you accept a guy who came 600 years after jesus who never saw jesus he never met jesus he don't speak the language of jesus <laughs> to speak about what happened to jesus <laughs> no yeah <laughs> it's a it's a it's a comedy so they are hypocrites they are liars and they 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 shoot themselves in their own foot at the same time where where is the quran you see they talk too much about the bible is corrupt they don't have even a single book of muhammad quran mm. what is the quran of muhammad what, no no, no there is half 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 is not the quran of muhammad even half quran yeah. we don't have it even half we don't have it we don't have half yeah. We have recitation of house. They claim that this is a recitation of house according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to Uthman, according to. Okay. Yeah, so exactly. according to, but where is house book? Even house does not exist. Even Bukhari does not exist. You know that? Bukhari, Bukhari, the book of Bukhari. We don't have them. The book, yeah. of, the, the book okay, of Sahih yeah. Muslim. No, we don't have them. Those are not Bukhari. Those are somebody claim that those are Bukhari. <laughs> Okay. Somebody claimed yeah. that this is this is a copy from Al Bukhari, but they don't have Al Bukhari. Mm. So they don't have the Hadith, and Al Bukhari came three hundred years after Muhammad. Okay, so how a guy mm. who came three hundred years after Muhammad he will collect what 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 people said about Muhammad? Mm. Make no sense. Yes. Uh -huh. It's not a good protected book from God. It's a it's a it's a madness. It's a collection of stupidity, and the more you learn about it, the more you laugh. Okay. Two, uh, two questions to uh, for Christianity because I want to uh, know more about it. All right. Uh, first, uh, as a, as a in the time as a Muslim, I thought that uh, the um, the Bible isn't protected. 
but I have seen in one of your videos that, that you told it's just a translation which is not protected and we have enough um, uh, scriptures from the, uh, the manuscript. original script. manuscript, manuscript. Yes. manuscript. Yes. in the in the uh, uh, in the language which it is revealed uh, you know what I mean yeah like in, you know we have like as an example King James version it's, a, it's just a translation so there's many translation, but if you want to go and read the Bible in the original script, you go and read Aramaic yeah. or Hebrew or Greek. Same time, you will notice that in Christianity, yeah. the more manuscript we discover, the more yeah. it's confirmed, which means like always there's a new manuscript is, is, is uncovered. But they yeah. are in total agreement with the, with the old ones. It's not like something to contradict or destroy. So mm. uh, 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 you will see even the translation is getting better you know when they translate mm -hmm. because more manuscript is coming and more manuscript is making it more clear so okay. mm -hmm. so so uh, you know when we say uh, the word of god is protected for me what is mm -hmm. the word of god is not a story you know it's not yeah. really it have to be letter by letter because at the end of the day uh, the the mm -hmm. what is meant in a book is for me to understand what 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 uh, what the messiah want to say to me is not translating yes. word by word you know yeah, yeah. Imagine I say, if somebody like uh, uh, Jesus, he said, the one who drink from my water, uh, he will mm. never be thirsty. A Muslim, he said to me, Jesus here is saying, drink my piss. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so it's it's depend what you want. I mean, if you want to see it in a silly, stupid way, here we go. It's the same statement. He make mm. it as about about piss. I see it in different way. So Muslims are silly people. They try to uh, to find something in the Bible. And to prove Islam, as an example, uh, yeah. that was making fun of the Song of Songs for many years. This he say it's the book book of porn. It's about sex. Do you even read those verses for your children? I challenge you to read those verses to your yes. children. It's the same and then, from and then we find that uh, uh, him is is a, when when somebody told him that Muhammadim Muhammadim the dem the dem in the in the Song yeah. of Songs, suddenly the Song of Songs became holy. Since he said, since he yeah, said, yeah. Muhammadim, the dem, the dem, Muhammad is yeah, there. Yeah. No, no Muslim la laugh at Song of Songs. All of all the time they were laughing at Song of Songs, saying this is the book of adultery, and uh, it's drinking alcohol in this. Uh, ver uh, yeah, uh, song uh, my that my friend, there is a no Muslim trying to call. Let us see what the Muslim want to okay. say. All right, okay, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Answer Abdul. Are you going to answer or no? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Hello? Okay, uh -oh. okay. Don't open your camera for me, please. No camera. Don't open your camera. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello. Yes, it's me. It's you. Who are you? Yes. I'm Rahim. Rahim. Uh, you are Rahim. Yes. Are you the one who opened your camera for me before? What? Are you the one who opened your camera for me before? No. No. Okay. What do you want, Rahim? What do you want to say? Are I want you. Uh, are you to the one who said to me "f you" just two days ago? Yes. Why you said to me "f you"? Are you a gay? No. So why you said to me "f you"? What if you are speaking to a gay and he said, "Okay, let's do it." I don't know. Okay, so I advise you next time, if you want to say "f you," say it to someone he like okay. it, so you can do it with him. Obviously, you like okay. it because sorry. when you say to sorry. a man "f you," obviously you like to "f a man," and that means you okay, are sorry. A Okay, you are sorry. That's good. Okay, what do you want to say to me, Rahim? I want you to translate a hadith for me. I want you to translate a hadith for me. Okay, what hadith is that? Yes. Uh, I'll send you. Hmm. Okay, send me. Have you seen these uh, word counts I've sent you? The link? Is that the link you sent me? 
No, 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 no. Just uh, I'll send you. Just wait. Okay, but uh, promise me that the hadith does not have if you. Does it have if you? No. Okay, because there is a prophet. Your prophet. He said if you. By the way, do you want to see it? I can show it to you. No. Okay, no problem. How is your dad doing? Good. No, oh, and your mom. They are fine. Yes. Okay, don't forget, please, before you go to sleep, you know, brush your teeth. Now, where is the hadith? Yes. Yes, uh, wait, wait, I'll send. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friend, when you find it, call me back, because there's some Abdul trying to call No, 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 no. I'll send it, I'll send it. You found it? Okay, that's good. Yeah. To go to Hadith uh, 20, 124. Mm, okay. One Hadith uh, 124. Okay. Yes. What 124 is saying? What is that? Let us see. 124. Uh, okay. Let us see. Haddathana Gandhar an Shu'ba an Satara an Abi Qala. كنت أخذ برجام دابة عبد الله فقال أنتم دمتم البيت فلم تدعوا حجرا على حجر قال نحن على الإسلام قال وأنتم على الإسلام ثم قال ماذا قال ثم يبنى أحسن ما كان فإذا رأيت مكة قد بعجت كأظائم ورأيت البناء يعلو رؤوس الجبال فعلم أن الأمر قد أظلك أوكي okay, what is that what does it say is that صحيح حديث Is that Sahih Hadith? It is, uh, it is the most uh, earliest uh, uh, written, uh, hmm. written Hadith. Okay, who is, who, is talk, who is talking there? Muhammad. Where it says Muhammad? This hadith. Where it says Muhammad? This where it says, says, where it says Muhammad? <laughs> Why are you are laughing? Are you an idiot? Where it says Muhammad? <laughs> Abdul, where it says Muhammad? You are a donkey. At the same time. Is, Look what it says. Hadith. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, كيف أنتم إذ هدمتم البيت? Did they destroy the Kaaba? No. Okay. What do you mean? What do you mean? No. It says, كيف أنتم إذ هدمتم البيت? How are you if you destroy the, the, the house? And then you did not make, do not let a place of a rock on the top of other rock. Did they destroy what? the house? This is what the hadith is saying in front of you. Are you, are you. are you stupid or what? Did they destroy the house or the Kaaba? Did they destroy the Kaaba? You translate the did the Muslims hadith. did the Muslim destroy the Kaaba? The you hadith in front of you. This is the hadith you gave me, you idiot. What's wrong with you? This is the hadith in front of me. Okay. And first of all, it does not mention the name of Muhammad. Secondly, it says that you Muslim destroy the Kaaba. Did you? No. What do you mean no? No. I agree. The Muslim destroyed the Kaaba many times. You never heard of Al Qurtubi? Yes. You never heard of Al Hajjaj? Didn't yes. didn't they destroy the Kaaba? Isn't it the Qurtubi? Yes. He took the black stone. Yes. Okay. So the Kaaba been destroyed. Do you agree with that? Yes. Thank you very much. That's mean the story in the Quran is a lie, because the Quran <laughs> says if somebody tried to destroy the Kaaba, Allah will send birds to destroy the one who would destroy the Kaaba. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So Allah is a liar. Muhammad is a liar, and you gave me a hadith to prove that Muhammad is a liar. So why you are happy? No. Can you just uh, translate the whole, the whole hadith? I just translated the hadith for you. It says that the Kaaba will be destroyed and you Muslims will destroy it. The Muslims and you are a Muslim. And then and then Al-Qurtubi, he destroyed it. And this is a true. And then we find that Muhammad in the Quran says, the chapter is called the chapter of the elephant. If an army came to destroy the Kaaba, Allah will send birds F-16, they carry stones and they destroy the one who they are there. Now, same time. Uh, here it says, if you see Mecca, uh, uh, became shiny and became like a uh, with high building, and then uh, you know, you should like it's like uh, the judgment day did come, correct? Yes, okay, that's but miraculous, he, right? But but, Look, Mac, but this, 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 no, you just proved to me that Muhammad is a false prophet. Yeah. Hold on, because yeah. here, here we go. The, Ka the Kaaba is shiny, the Kaaba is shiny. Hold on, the Kaaba is shiny for more than 70 years since the oil came, and the high buildings are there, and the judgment day did not come. So your prophet is a false prophet again. 
hadith can also be found in the book of Mecca. My friend, no problem. So is 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 the judgment day is here? Here we go. The Kaaba is shiny, and they have have they have high say, building. Hold yeah. on, hold on. Have 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 a high building, and yet there's no judgment day. So your prophet is a false prophet. No, he's saying it's near. It's near. Well, he said in the Quran, the moon is split and the judgment is near since fourteen hundred years ago. Now we say, for for Allah it is near and for us it is very. No, for Allah it is near and for us. So it is, is it for is, uh, when Allah He says the judgment day is near? He's speaking to Himself. He's saying the judgment day is near for me, not for you. No, He's saying that to you. Don't lie. How many times in the how many times in the Bible? Abdul, it isn't it? This is the hadith in the front of you. Isn't it? This is the hadith in the front. Hold on. Isn't it the hadith in the front of you? This is the most same time, same same time, same time. Where is the buildings in the top of the high mountains around the Kaaba? Do we have high mountains around the Kaaba? We have a small mountains. Do you have a small hills actually? Where is the high mountains around the Kaaba? Abu Qais, Abu Qabais. It's a small hill. So Muhammad here, the one who fabricated this hadith, even do not know what is in Mecca. What is the high mountain? It says Yalu Ru'us al Jibal. What is the mountains in the top of the mountains building? Where are they? I don't know. They don't know. You know, you're the one who gave me this hadith and we will laugh at you and tell you, you tell me what do you know? Here we go. It says uh, the high building will be in the top of the high mountain. Where is the mountains which are high around Mecca? How high those mountains? As it, as it was suppressed. Do we have high mountains around the, around Mecca? Buildings would suppress the mountains. Suppress what? Suppress where is the mountains? What is the mountain name for me? The mountains around Mecca. Jabal Abu Qubais, the one who uh, who get the bracket with the black stone. It's a small, tiny hill. It's not a mountain. Where is the mountains? You have Himalaya. There's mountains around Kaaba. There are those are mountains. Those are not mountains. Those are small, <laughs> tiny hills. We can go right now and see Mecca. Let us go to Google uh, uh, Earth. All right. Or we can go and we can go and look at pictures of Google. Hold on. Hey, everybody will love. So you gave me you gave me what you claim it is. And by the way, it does not even mention your, the name of your prophet there. But we will go with that. It can be found in the book of Mecca. Hold on. Hold on. Let us love together. Muhammad said it. Don't be sorry for bringing me this hadith. You are the one who brought it to yourself. So we will love. Okay. Uh. All right. This is Mecca. Let us show uh, uh, the city and what is around it. I would show the picture which is showing. There's no real mountains. It's small hills. Let us see. Maybe I should go to Google Earth and we see. And there's nobody building high high building in the top of them. The building are down in Mecca, not in the high mountain. Hold on, hold on. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Okay. Let us see. This is uh, maybe it's better to go to Google Earth. Hold on. Let us see Google Google Earth. All right. Do you see my screen? I will put it for you in the screen. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. By the way, have you seen my uh, posts? My friend, I don't my see. I, I don't see you. All of you. Morning. I cannot see you. All of you. Why? Because you are too short. I don't know. I don't know. Now this is Mecca. Look with me in the screen. Let me show you the screen. Okay. Where is the mountains around Mecca? Do you see mountains? I'm not seeing it yet. Well, this is the screen in front of me. This is the Kaaba. Where is the see. mountains? There is small, tiny hills. They are not mountains. And where is the 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 building in the top of the high mountains? Where we can find them? Says the the buildings would suppress the mountains. The the what mountains? There's no mountains. Those are small tiny hills. They are not mountains. It's a small desert. There's no mountains here. Where, the uh, the 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 places where it's high, we can say it's high. It's far away from the Kaaba. 
and there's no buildings here we go as an example this one you can tell from the pictures that the buildings are down do you see the buildings here we go they are down in the valley they are not in the mountain no, the buildings of Mecca this is Mecca are... my friend this is Mecca this is Mecca here we go you see all no, the no, houses no. all the houses I... are down okay now so now I... now you prove to us you prove to us that you're a prophet is a false prophet because he predicted oh. if mount if buildings are high in Mecca this is will be the judgment day and the buildings are high yes. in Mecca since more than 50 years ago so this is a big yes, fat sign yes. big fat lie your prophet he made you have to admit now no. so where the judgment day no. where is the judgment day it's coming close when when Ahmed even says that the Arabs would build tall buildings oh, oh, and oh, 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 the, the Arab they have the Arab have high buildings since long time ago don't you never saw the pictures of Yemen uh, my friend don't you know don't you know what Yemen you, you never heard of Yemen don't you know yeah. Yemen? hold on don't you know that Yemen do you, do you want to show you the buildings in Yemen building in Yemen are high buildings long time ago so there's nothing new the Arab they build high buildings since long time ago in the time of Muhammad before Muhammad thousand of years before you Muhammad of, you ever heard of Dubai Abdul Muhammad says Arab will be called painting and who can build the tallest building okay let me show you the hadith because this hadith proved again that Muhammad there's thousands a, of okay hadith. hold on hold on no this hadith the one you mentioned to me about the uh, your said dubai right okay here we go let me find it so everybody will laugh okay There we go. This is the hadith your prophet he mentioned. It says here uh, that judgment day will not come until the following things. Read with me carefully. The hour will not establish until two big groups fight each other, whereupon there will be great number of casualty on both sides. And they will be following one and this and, and the same religion and doctrine. That's mean. There is a group that will be victorious, and there is only one religion in the whole world. And then, second, till no. about my, don't shut up. This is your prophet say respect your prophet. Till no, he's not saying shut that. up. Tell about thirsty the the thirty the jazz liars. Thirty the jazz. There's thirty. There's thirty the jazz. <laughs> okay, hold on. And each one of them, and each one of them, hold on, Abdul. And each one of them will claim that he is Allah. And shut up. Shut up. And each one of them he will claim that he is Allah messenger. Let us continue. Yes. Then hold on. Then till the religious knowledge is taken away. So no Muslim will be left. No scholars will be left. All Muslims have no scholars. There's no Muslims. All Muslims are gone. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Earthquake, hold on, hold on. Earthquake will increase. Hold on, shut up, shut up. Time will pass quickly. A flication will appear. Al, uh, uh, al Harj, which means like people they will start killing each other, etc. They will increase and then till the wealth will be abundance. How wealth will be abundance if people are killing each other? That will be funny. So, abundance, abundant that uh, a wealthy person will worry, lest nobody should accept his zakat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. And then, and whoever will present, whoever will oh, set up, let me read, man, respect, respect your prophet, and whoever will present. Uh, presented to someone that person who is will be offered to will say I am not in need of it So time would come that people will not need money. That is heaven my friend. That's this is fiction How the how the world no. will go in chaos how people they will kill each other and then people will not need money Okay, continue this that's that's a law Tell the people no. complete just shut up one under construction high buildings But we have high buildings since long time ago till a man no. when passing by a grave of someone will say with that I wear in his place he wished that to be in his place you know how there's people do not need money no more and yet people will not wish to be wish to be in the grave and then until this till the Sun rise from the West so your prophet he claimed that the Sun will rise from the West so when the Sun will rise uh, 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 the people will see rising from the West they will they will and they will all believe embraces now but that will be the time when Allah said no good will be do to any soul so which means we're not accept to, to accept Islam no more now where in the, hold on this is the hate in front of you all right 
No, I'm seeing it. So, so if we if we go by, <laughs> hold on, hold on. If we go by by your prophet, he said that there's a thirty that Jar will come first, and yes. then and then war between two groups will happen. Okay, name for me the thirty that Jar will will happen before Mecca have uh, high buildings. Name the thirty that Jar. First, there's 23 Dajjals already up here. In the last 50 years... Name, name them I for think. me. Name name them for me, the 30 Dajjal. They claim, they claim to be the Prophet Muhammad. Google it. I don't want a golden... You are, you are the one who knows. Tell me, tell me, tell me who are they, those three messengers. They claim to be the Prophet of Allah. 20, 23 has already appeared. 30 Dajjal, not a 23. Who are no, they? Who yes, are the thirty yes. Dajjal? Give me the names. Okay, give me the give me the name of the first one. Go Google it. I don't know where to Google. You are a Muslim. Tell me. Come on. Can't you tell me? Give me one. Who is the one? Okay, I'll Google it. Oh, sorry, guys. You don't see my screen. I I, I apologize. I, I I just noticed you don't see my screen. So, tell me who are they? The thirty Dajjal, because all those things have to happen before. The rest will happen. So the first one, too big a group, will fight. Well, we have too big a group fought already, long time ago. It's called this, uh, the First World War and the Second World War, and maybe in the future we'll have the Third World War. Now, and then all the people they will become one religion. Obviously, this is not Islam. What is that religion? Christianity. Number three, till all the people that, till we have thirty Dajjal. Who are the, the thirty Dajjal? Name one. So as you see here, Abdul, if you look with me. The, the 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 one about high buildings it have to happen long after all those lists of things happen which mean after no. the two groups shut up after the two group fight after the third no. the jail pass and then after no. the religious are taken away which means there's no scholar left and then no, after that saying. shut up earthquake will happen and then time will pass quickly which means time will be shortened and then al hajr people will kill each other like in, a, in a, like in a madness and then the wealth will be abundant and nobody care for money and then after that after that after all those things like nine and etc and and then in number nine they will accomplish high buildings so you, what your prophet saying hold on hold on what your prophet he said he's proven to us that all of this is a lie because none oh. of the none of the eight happened before the eight the high buildings the high buildings already there <laughs> He's not saying this will happen, then that will happen. Then no, it says that. Happen. It says that. Read, 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 Abdul. Read, read. Here, read with me. Read with me. The judgment day will, the hour will not be established till number one, big two group fight. Number two, till etc. Number three, number four, Wait, number happened? five, number not six. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. He put them in order for a reason, supposedly because they will happen in order. Stop. And then when the sun. When the sun rise, shut up. Let me get you busted. He said, when the sun rise from the west, then people will convert to Islam, but that will be too late. So the last thing will happen when the sun rise from the west. Stop lying. He's not saying in you order, brought you happen. brought a shame to your prophet. You call me to prove a prophecy. You prove that you are dumb like your prophet. Oh, you are a big fat liar. You well, here we go. In the front of you, it says that the first thing will happen. The first thing, the second thing, and the last hey. thing. The last thing. What is hey. the last thing hey. your prophet has said? What is hey. the last thing will happen? The sun will rise from the, the west. Do you agree? Do you agree? Where does he, where does he say then that will happen? It says, here we go. Happen. And then, hey, read, 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 read. Until, until the sun rise from the west. So when the sun will rise and the people will see it, rising from the west they all will all embrace islam but that yes. will be the time when allah said no good will do a soul believe in them because this is judgment day that's it this is the judgment day so the judgment day will happen now when when number 11 happened where the sun rise from the west and then everybody say oh allah please we will be muslim but then he will say to them no 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 it's too late that's it that's it so this is the last thing to happen. So you just approve to me, and I want to say thank you, Abdul, for calling me, for proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. I pray to God, big fat lie. He's not saying it will happen in order. It ha it says the last thing will happen is what? What is the last thing will happen? Okay, hold on. I, I have another Abdul trying to call me. Maybe he's smarter than you. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, okay, no problem. You know, thank you for saying Quran. Hello. I'm fine, my friend. How are you? I'm good, my friend. I heard that your prophet is a prophet these days. 
Yes, my friend. Tell me, good I, um, I'm just curious to know. Are, you, aren't you, aren't you the, the one who called me before? You said you are a friend of Zachary Naik. You remember me, but why are you blocking me, my friend? I did not block you. I saw a female calling me. I thought it's a female. It was the same picture as before, my friend. I don't know. I did not notice the picture, but I saw the picture later. I saw it's a Muslim calling me because Muslims, they always call me and they say to me, we like your voice. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like Sean Connery. Mm. So voice. let me ask it's you, like... are you satisfied with the question you asked me for before and the answer or no? No, no, no. Here, here was the issue. I, 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 my friend, I don't want to fight. Can we not fight? No, it's can okay. We can easy? fight. I like fighting. It's okay. You tell me to shut up all the time. You tell me shut up because shut you up don't let me talk. The second I start answering you, you start taking over the mic and you don't let me talk. So why you call me? I agree. I agree. It's not fair. We must give each other a okay. chance. All right. Now the thing was the thing which was concerning me, and in relation to the discussion also, hmm. which we need to tackle. Isaiah seven twenty read in conjunction with two Samuel twenty two eleven. And Deuteronomy uh, 22 verse 28. More importantly, Isaiah 720 read with 2 Samuel 22 11. Mm. Can you share that on the screen? And just basically. No, tell me, tell me your conclusion. Tell me your conclusion. Okay. Well, if you look at Isaiah, you see, you, you, you had on your screen about Allah having two hands. There's something about that mm. um, in the hadith. Now, mm. here's, a, here's a situation. When we talk about anthropomorphic descriptions about God hmm. it is worse in the Old Testament for example in Isaiah 720 hmm. it says that in the same day God Yahweh hmm. shall shave for the razor that is hired hmm. by them beyond the river he will shave your head hmm. and he will shave the legs and the private parts according to the new international version now you check up I'm not lying in the new international version it speaks about Yahweh describing him as shaving the legs and the private parts of a person Hmm. If you take that into conjunction with well, Samuel, okay, okay, and how and how the Christian explain and how the Christians oh hold on hold on hold on and how the Christian explain that to you? Be honest with me. Well, well okay, I'll be honest with you. Hmm. The vast majority of Christians that I've asked hmm. and, and questioned have had no explanation to this because clearly this is a ludicrous, stupid. It's stupid. It presents Yahweh going around shaving people's heads and shaving people's legs so if you want to criticize islam what's in the hadith or what's in second no 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 you can't criticize no we can't criticize no you see when i show you when i show you something stupid in your religion i go by your i go i go i go by your interpretation i don't fabricate my own okay okay i accept the point but when, when i accept the point you can criticize islam and I, you have the right to do that but when we find more rubbish descriptions about yahweh in the old testament then what well, do we do? Well, first, oh, oh, who, first of all, first of all, when you say rubbish, that's that's a, that's your rubbish understanding. Well, I can say the same thing for you. No, it's your rubbish no, 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 my friend. No, this is not up to you. We can go right now and we see you can we can see any commentary about what it, this verses mean, and you will see that you are wrong and doesn't say what you are claiming to say. So what what, okay. what you okay. Muslims so do? What you what what you Muslims do? Yeah. What you Muslims do? Yeah. You fabricate your own interpretation and you claim your own claim, but you can prove what you claim. Now I want to ask you: okay. Can you show okay. me one interpretation? Agree with what you said to me? I can show you many. If you look at Peake's Bible commentary, if you look, mm. for example, at the King James Version, but more particularly Peake's Bible commentary, mm. it concedes that there's an anthropomorphic interpretation okay. hold of, on, of hold God. On, hold on. That this is the interpretation. This is the interpretation. This is the interpretation. This is the interpretation yeah. in the front of me. Where in yeah. the front of you? I just uh, I did search a web uh, in, in Google. I did not even read the article yet. And it's in the front of you. Show me where yeah. in this article it says what you said. No, I get get the original. I've got the Bible. I can't the Bible. Show you the Bible. You have to prove what you said to me. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. My, my friend, my friend. So we have, we have our, we have our interpretation. Who ruled over those beyond the river? The head and their hair and the feet shall be also consume the beard. This is yeah, not. So this is persist. not what you claim. This is not what you claim. You are a liar, my friend. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are making things that's not there. This is. This is. This is. This is a shame of you to fabricate a story. You know, 
you know it's it's a shame that muslims when i say something to you i show you sahih al-bukhari i show you a tabari i saw a jalalain and we will see that this is what the muslims agree now friend, when i show you friend. when i show you that allah he have two hands in the right side is that a true or i'm lying yeah no it's a lie it's a lie so why it's why, why it's a lie because the quran does not contain that okay so you are saying your prophet commit a lie and he said allah he have two hands in the right side i'm saying the report i'm saying the report cannot be accurately traced back to the prophet so why, you, not so the why you are saying yes, so why okay so you are saying you, you are saying part. that this hadith is not sahih is that correct uh, you see this is the problem mr christian prince mm. even if something is contained in sahih bukhari there are various categorizations within bukhari within muslim and we go we debate this for so many years and you can't get it okay so let me ask you let me ask you do your god allah have hands yes or no no he does not where you get this from um surah ikhlas okay let me ask you you said you are a friend of zakir naik correct yes okay this zakir naik said that allah have a hands and he have a body i did Zach and Naik say I can't I can't remember I'm, I don't care if you remember or not I'm saying to you yes, if if, if Zach and Naik if Zach and Naik he said that are you willing to say right now and you claim that you are a friend of Zach and Naik are yes. you willing to say that Zach and Naik is a scumbag liar lying about Allah <laughs> I'm going to say that Zach and Naik does represent the Salafi view and according to some of my the friend Salafis, don't tell me he represent you are the one who said to me by the way i am a friend of zach and Naik. suddenly you don't you don't friend, suddenly you don't suddenly you don't want to friend him no more so do you agree no. with zach and Naik or you don't agree with zach and Naik? yes or where no he said, can you show me where he said allah has two hands no problem left. no show it, me, show me no he, uh, he did not say allah have two hands on the right side he said allah have a body and this is what i said to you he allah have okay, a body he allah that. have hands allah uh, he said that where he said that what if i what if what if i show you what you will do then i'll like, agree that that's what he said but can you show me but what no he problem said? i mean the if he if he so so why he is saying that if this is what he said but, but the, why are we talking about zaki and Nak? you're running away from the bible i'm not i'm not running away i'm not running away because you are the one who mentioned to me you see you said to me you said to me you said to me hold on hold on you said to me, by the way, if you want to debate Zakir Naik, I can. I I am a friend of him. So are you okay? So are you better than Zakir Naik in knowledge? When when you mentioned to me, when you when you mentioned to me that you are holding the skirt of Zakir Naik, if Zakir Naik is not a scholar for you, why you are mentioning his name to debate me? A scholar. I never said he's not a scholar. I'm saying okay. I could have a so, race to debate with you. That's, that's good. Me. That's good. I gave so Zakir Naik, okay, let's go back to zero. Zakir Naik, he said, yeah. Zakir Naik, he said, Allah has hands. Are you against that? Did he say that? Can you show me where he said that? Okay, hold on. Okay. But what about God shaving people's legs and two Samuel? This is not what it says. That's not. This is not. This is. This is. This is not. What it, read the interpretation. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Don't be a liar. Don't be a liar. I showed you. I showed you. I showed you the interpretation. You are. You are official liar like your prophet. So, so hold on. Does God use the hold, on hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shut up. You see this? Why? This why I I blocked you before because you talk too much. You talk too much. You talk too much, but you say nothing. Hold on. I want Can you I to talk? promise me. I want you to promise me in the front of everybody. If I play yeah. for you, Zach and Nick, saying what I just said, are you willing to yes. say Zach and Nick is a deceiver? I'm willing to say that Zach and Nick is wrong. What do you mean wrong? He's lying or he's wrong? Wrong in terms of his understanding. That's what I'm willing to say. So I mean, why you are willing to say, that? okay, you okay. Are you, are you willing to give me? Insulting? Are you willing to give me your real name so we can put it under the video? It says uh, the guy, his name, etc. He is a friend of Zakir Naik, saying Zakir Naik is wrong. Are you willing to do that? Zakir Naik knows who I am. He knows my voice. I, mean, I don't have to no give problem. My name. So why you don't give your? I mean, why you are a Pakistani boy and you are you know I you can, are not worried, right? I can. I can put it on writing. I can put it on writing. Yeah. If Zakir yeah. Naik shut up. Shut, shut up. I can tell shut, you up. You shut up. Shut up. Let us play Zakir Naik. Shut up. Always tell me shut, shut up. up. Allah, we'd like to see. You so, shut up. Listen to Zakir Naik getting you busted, Abdul. Listen. Allah has a body, but not like you are. Your legs. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. You see, you are ashamed. You are ashamed. You are ashamed. Same as you see, we we believe that God He created Adam in His image. You Muslim, you say God is not a man, but then we find that Allah is an octopus. Allah have two hands in the right side. And when we say to you, this is the hadith, you say to me, it is not sahih. The hadith in the front of me said this is sahih hadith, and you try to get away with it. Why you Muslim, you say it is sahih if it's not sahih? Now listen, shut up. You see, this is why I hang up on you because you're not let me talk. Let me play Zakir and Naik, and everybody will laugh. Shut up. Here we go. There, 
we will crave to see the voice of Allah. A prophet said, the face of Allah, we'd like to see. So, don't call me. Wait, let us play the file. Shame on you. Has a body, but not like you and mine. Allah has a body, but not like my, you and mine. Did you hear it? Allah have a body. Who said that? Your friend, the brother. So you Muslim, you have a body of God, but your God have no spirit. This is how shameful this religion is. They say to us how you worship a man, but their God have a body and he have two hands and he is funny and he looks stupid. Don't call me now. I have to play first the rest of the of Zakir Naik. We want to laugh, my Abdul. Come on, show respect. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Shura, chapter 42, verse number 11. There's nothing whatever like Allah. He hears and sees. Nothing like Allah, brother. Nothing like Allah. Who care? Nothing like me too. Even science pr proved that nothing like my finger, nothing like my skin. Every human being is different. He have a different DNA. Every human being. Does that mean we are God? No. Today, we will crave to... I'm not sure why the file is frozen. Let us see what's happening. We have to see the voice of Allah. A prophet said, the face of Allah we'd like to see. So, Allah has... A body, but not like you and mine. Mm. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Shura, chapter 5 to verse number 11, there's nothing whatever like Allah. He hears and sees, but he doesn't hear like you and me. For you and me require ear to hear. Allah, how he hears? Allah, Allah. Allah he Allah. sees. We require eyes to see. Allah, how does he see? Allah, Allah. So We showed you the other scholar who says, yes, Allah have eyes. Remember? Allah have hands, Allah have eyes, and this is all what the Muslim scholar they say. And now we show you that Allah have two hands in the right side and the Muslim try to deny it. But this is what it says, Sahih. It says, Sahih. This is not a weak hadith. So you claim that this is not a true. Zakir Naik got you busted and here's your friend. And then Zakir Naik continue and says, Yalla, yes, Allah have hands. Yes, let us, let us hear what he will say about hands. So Allah is there. He has a form. How it is? Allah, Allah. He has a hand. Yes, Quran says that. He have a hands? Yes, Quran says that. Do you hear it? He have hands? Yes, Quran says that. He have hands. How we know where the hands of Allah located is not from Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik himself, he will read what Muhammad said. Who is Zakir Naik anyway to, to teach us where is Allah or what who is Allah? He will learn from his prophet. And this is your prophet saying that Allah, he have two hands and both of them, they are right hands. So in order to avoid the madness and the stupidity of this cult, you say to me, this hadith is not accepted. Since when? Doesn't say in the same screen I'm showing you, it says Sahih. Hmm? The game of weak and da'if, even by the way, even da'if one is accepted. Even the da'if, which means uh, weak. But as you see, this one is Sahih. Considered by the Muslim scholar themselves, published, printed by the Muslim themselves, written, copy, memorized by the Muslim themselves, it is Sahih. Now let me call you back so we can love. Answer Balbula. What happened? Hmm? What happened? Your internet is bad now? Zach and Nike is, you know, he cursed you? Let me call you again. Look like his internet is bad. Call me if your internet is good, my friend. Fix your internet. This is what Islam is about, and we are laughing.
Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. You still a Muslim? Mm -hmm. How come? What happened? Did you see a doctor? Uh, no, no, come on. Okay, what do you think about Allah having two hands in the right side? No, no, I don't want to discuss this right now. It's not up to you, my friend. This is our topic. We can't change the topic just because this is not a grocery store. You grab whatever you want in the shelf. So what do you want to say about Allah having two hands in the right side of him? Do you think Allah have a birth defect? Okay, show, show me where it says yes. Do you, it's in the front of you. This is the hate in the front of you, my friend. Go ahead. Okay. I think you're taking it too uh, literally. I am not the one who's taking it literally. I just played for you a prophet Zakir Naik piece upon him saying, Yes, Allah have a hand, Allah have bodies. Yeah, but our, his hand may not be the same as our hand. No, sure, no problem, my friend. My hands is not like your hands, too. Trust me. When in, I have in, a very uh, nice hands. Actually, book, actually, you know, I, I got a job just to, uh, you know, to work as a handyman. That's why I have a nice hand. Does so, that mean so I am in, God? In any religious book, in the, and that says um, that my friend about, all your scholars the all the your the scholars books, agree that Allah have a physical body Allah God. Allah have a physical body this is your prophet saying that my friend okay let me let me ask you did your prophet did, did your did, you, did your prophet says that Allah have a shape yes or no have a what shape uh, shape yes it does okay what shape what what is the shape of Allah uh, I don't I don't it doesn't say it has a specific shape it okay. just says he has a shape. It so, can change. So well. now we agree, both me and you, that Allah have a physical shape. It can come in different shapes. Uh, what yeah. does that mean? God, what so was that? Do what did, did you did you watch the movie? It's called the Trans Transformer. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. your God, Allah, the Transformer. What is that? So what, what is your problem with the God? Changing well, my shape? problem is not that. Uh, my problem that your God, Allah, is not a spirit, and He have a physical being, which means He's dead. How he is a body, but yet he don't have a spirit, which means he don't have a life because the spirit is about having a life. So your where, God, where does it say he doesn't? Have, he doesn't have a spirit. See, here we go, Muslims. How 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 old are you? Seventeen. You are seventeen. You want me to believe you? I'm being serious. Huh? Yes. You are seventeen. Yes. Okay, let your dad call me. <laughs> let us call the older guy, the 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 Pakistani boy. Yes, Abdul, how are you? Are you there? I'm not Abdul. Oh, you are the same person. Why are you calling me back? Are you called me? Oh, sorry, by mistake, my friend. I was I thought I'm calling the you are you are not a Muslim? We yes, we just talked. Oh, okay, sorry, by mistake, actually. Sorry. You are 17 years old, actually. You know, I want to call the older guy. Where is the older guy? Hold on. <coughs> My friend, okay, so did you hear uh, your brother Zach and Naik, your, your best friend? Did you did you take lunch and dinner together with Zach and Naik, or you are making things up? No, 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 at all. You can ask him. He was in Dong. What's your name? I want to ask him. Dongli. What's your name? I want to ask him. I must give my name. My Why not? Why, Why not? Is, this, is that a secret? I cannot show my face you because I am like because I am like Allah. <laughs> What's wrong? But you're not. You're like yeah. Let me let you me see, let me see, let, let me let me ask you. When Zakir Naik he said when, when Zakir Naik he said that why Zakir Naik? Not of those thousands of people listening. Nobody said to them you are a liar. Shame on you. Listen to me. Hmm. Can I basically answer something? Okay. They even but you you don't you cut me you cut me you shut up you tell me shut up shut up shut up you, no I, I cut like you that. I cut you only when you are trying to take over me I don't let me talk you ask me a question you don't let me answer you so go ahead I'm listening why is that he said that and why you Muslims don't why why you Muslim you bring him a TV station to teach your children wrong if he is wrong you see yeah you see, can I answer you see sometimes hmm. when you ask a question about a Muslim asked you a question about Islam, you answer them from the Quran. A Muslim asked you a question about Christianity, you answer them from the Quran. Now, similarly, all I can say is you're asking me now about the shape that mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that Zakir Naik, for example, they, whatever he said, 
is no worse than what was contained in my original discussion in 2 Samuel 22 verse 11, mm. which describes Yahweh as a dragon. Now here's the point, for example, in 2 Samuel 22 11, mm. dealing with the issue of Zakir and Naik about having a face, David speaks about Yahweh, mm. the smoke came out of his nostrils and devouring power with his mouth, and he flew and you he see, rode can over you, a cherub. Can you keep your mouth a little bit from the mic so I can understand you because your voice is coming muffled. I can't even understand what you are, what you are saying. Can no, you keep no, your distance? Saying, okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Now, what I was saying, what Zakir Naik was saying, basically, about uh, Allah having a shape, but it's not like, for example, how humans are, we don't conceptualize it. All of that is no worse than what was contained in 2 Samuel 22, verse 11, which describes Yahweh as a dragon. There, for example, it says, smoke came out of his nostrils, mm. devouring fire from his mouth, Yahweh's mouth, mm. and Yahweh rode up a little cherub. Uh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, I'm not, I, I, I know I know what the Muslims do. Okay, you, you said your, your part, let me say my part. Let me say my part. Let me say my part. First of all, all the interpretation you give us is false and fiction has not exist. People that is your go, Bible. What this is, is, the this is the Bible? Not, this, is not, this is in the Bible, yes, but this is not what you are saying. You are a false man. If we go and read the interpretation, we will see something different. The same as you said to me about the rosar. You are a fake man. You so, must so, think you have so the dignity. Come, how come so, you can put it? No, no, the Muslims point is, is the point is, the point is, when yes. I speak about your God, I show you how what you Muslim says about your God, not what I okay. think. So, when, when, you, when you say, when you speak to me about the Bible, you say what you think about what the Bible says, not what we think. And so this many is the, shut up. So, many shh, shh, hold on. Let me talk afterwards. Shh, no, I heard you. Now. When you're, a prophet, when you're a prophet, when you're a prophet, he say, Allah have two hands in the right side. I want you to get your prophet busted. Why, Muhammad, he said that? Yeah. No, 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 but that, that cannot be the point you're trying to understand. Is, for example, many of the Mufassi, Ibn Hajar Askalani. You heard of Ibn Hajar Askalani? I you heard, heard him? him, yeah. We you used to be together in the school. We used to be together in the school. What about him? Ibn Hajar Askalani hmm. was a commentator for Sahih al-Bukhari. You never even heard of him. He okay. basically goes and explains. Ibn Hajar Askalani, have you never heard of him? My friend, if Ibn I show you... Okay, you've what, never heard of Ibn Hajar. Uh, uh, Abdul, if I show if, you... If, okay, if, uh, let, let me ask you. In, in a second, I will get you busted. If I no, show... No, no. Uh, so do you accept Ibn Hajar al-Askalani interpretation for anything you like? Can, can I explain my point? No, don't please. explain. No, you just people. mentioned to me Ibn Hajar al Asqalani. So, can we prove? Me, hold on, hold time. on. Can we can we use yes. Ibn Hajar al Asqalani and you accept whatever he say? Yes or no? Let, can I answer? Please don't shut me no, down. No, I'm not please. shutting you down. You are the one who mentioned to me a name of a scholar. I'm asking you. Do you mention his name? Hold on. Okay. I'm saying to you, do you accept this scholar to be your scholar, to be your guidance of his scholarship or Ibn no? Hajar Ibn Hajar has basically been accepted as a mainstream scholar, but a lot of them use Israeli. You must understand that the commentators ah, were writing now Ibn Hajar al Asqalani is a Jew. Here we go. He used Israeli. <laughs> so when you yeah. want, he what is about, a Jew. Okay, when you, when, you, when, you, you, want, when you want, he is a Jew. When you want, when you want, like a Superman? When you, kind of you see, you see, when you want, you just said that Ibn Hajar al Asqalani, shut up. You see, you don't let me talk, man. You see, guys, the cowardness. He just mentioned to me Ibn al Hajar al Asqalani. He said, He said, You never heard of him. I am the one who taught Ibn Hajar al Asqalani. He is an idiot like you. And when I say to you, Do you accept what this guy he say? Suddenly you said to me, Oh, he used sometime Israeliyat, which means he used the Jews' speeches. He's a liar. So he is a truthful when you want. He is a Jew when you want. Hypocrites. Did you hear about Ibn Hajar al Asqalani? Yeah, I heard about him. He's a scumbag. I can show you things he said you will die laughing. So again, Mr. Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, do you accept Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani or you don't? I do. So whatever he say I you do. accept? Not this. I have my right to my, he's not Quran. <laughs> Do you accept that the, do you accept that Yahweh rode on a cherub? Do you accept that? Abdul, do you accept that we don't, we, okay we don't, we don't accept your you interpretation. You see, we don't accept your interpretation. The problem, so interpretation. the problem is, the problem is, Explain the problem that. is, Explain you that. yourself, you don't accept the interpretation of your own scholars. This is the problem. You mentioned to me a scholar, okay, but you don't want him no more. Okay, what's your, what's your interpretation on 2 Samuel 2, 2 11? What's your interpretation that he rode on a cherub, smoke came out of his mouth like a dragon, 
and he basically flew over the winds, brought Yahweh. I mean, how can this particular description be that oh, of God? Oh, first, of all, first 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 of all. The same as I showed you the interpretation for the first one, we can show you the, the second interpretation and people will laugh at you. Secondly, no, 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 are, prove it. Oh, no, prove no, it no, it's not about prove it. it. You see, let me tell prove you what it. you do. Let me tell you what you do. You are trying to avoid the madness of your prophet speaking about your prophet. Your God have two hands in the right hand. You try to make it switch about the Bible because you're ashamed of this. When we say to you, well, you, you, you call Bible? me. No, no, are no, no. Everybody, everybody is laughing what you what you just said. People, they can type in two seconds. In Google, the verses you mentioned, and they will laugh at you. You are, you said, you are a certified, you are a certified there. Now listen, listen. When I when I challenge you, I prove what I say, and I show you the interpretation of Muslims. Can you show me the interpretation of the Christians about what you say? They claim what you say, you cannot because you are a liar. I can. I can, you, because, my brother. I because can. you are a liar. Okay, let, let us do this. I, okay, I'll okay, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Before you go. You're let afraid. Let us, let us, no, you, you are the one is afraid. I, I, I promise you. I I, hold on, a donkey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, donkey. Hold on. I promise you. After we finish this one, we will go to the verse you want. Deal. Okay. Okay. Now, you said to me, Second Samuel, right? Second Samuel twenty-two, okay. eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right. After we finish that, we will go there. Now explain to me what's so, happening. So can we go to that now? Why don't why are you afraid to go there, my friend? We will go there. Afraid, what's wrong with you? We will go there, brother. We will go there, brother. Oh, brother, we go there. You said second Samuel. Let us, let us take a note. Second Samuel, what? Two Samuel 22, 8, 9, 10, and 11. David's oh, song okay. of deliverance. After we finish, here we go there. Now, your, your mic. Explain to me. Screen, so explain so explain to me. Okay, Bible. we will go there. We will, will go there. Explain can to me. Don't be ashamed Abdul, of the Bible. Abdul, you are a potato. You are trying to avoid to speak about the madness of your prophet. Now, explain to us why you're a prophet lying about your God have a buddy and he have two hands in the right side. The Quran comes from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mm -hmm. and the Hadith are questionable which speaks about that. What happened is some of the Arabs had an anthropomorphic concept of God and so they basically believed in that. The problem that we need to understand, if you look at Ibn Hajar Asqalani and let's assume for the sake of argument that we go with him. Most of the Muslim commentators would say, for example, Zamakhshari, Tafsir Kabir of Fakhruddin Razi. I don't know if you're familiar with these. They all would say that it is metaphorical, for example, that the language is allegorical, like Muhammad with a shabby hat. Mm -hmm. So why can't if we can explain if you can, for example, say that the biblical verses okay, are metaphorical? Give me, give me interpretation so we can give me an interpretation. Give, give me an interpretation we can read it from my friend. Tafsir Kabir of Fakhruddin Razi. Tafsir al-Razi, you accept al-Razi? Tafsir Kabir of Fakhruddin Razi. Okay, do you accept al-Razi? Are you sure? Are you familiar with that? Okay, do you, ac do you accept al-Razi, my friend? Uh, Arazi was Mu'tazi life, but I accept his commentary. My friend, so do you accept Arazi? Say yes, because I want to be sure that you will yes. not say you will not say no later. Yes. Okay, here we go. Yes, this is this is Arazi in the front of you in the screen. That's you not Razi. It's okay. not in the website. Okay, Razi is not the website. It's Razi, a, Razi is a website. What I will do? I will jump in your lab. What's wrong with you? What do you mean Razi is not a website? It's a book. You, you see, you see, you see, I'll tell this. Let me explain. The last time you said you showed me Mokatil Ibn Sulaiman, you remember that point? I checked out the website. That website does not have Mokatil. So you showed me something in Arabic. Which Abdul, was not the no, it has Mokatil. You are a liar. Here we go. Let me show you Mokatil again. Mokatil what are you? Shut up. Mokatil is here. Here we go. Us. Hold on. Mokatil. Hold on. You are a certified liar. Now you said to me, Ar Razi, you cannot take it back because I'm going to make you ashamed of Ar Razi. Tafsir Kabir, show me Tafsir Kabir. Tafsir, tafsir Kabir. This is Tafsir Al Kabir in the front of you. Show, show me. Where is it? I don't know. Where's the proof? It's in the screen. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Hold on. Well, is it one minhum my Tafsir Do you see Tafsir Ar Razi? Does it do you see it in the screen? Yes or no? Can, can you highlight? Can you highlight? It's not clear on my screen, my brother. Where's it? Waminum Mayakulu Anzar. No, 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 don't read it. I did not go to I did not go to any verse, but do you see it says Tafsir al-Razi in Arabic? Yes or no? Um, no, no, just just highlight it. You highlight normally, show us where here, 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 here. do you see it? Tafsir al-Razi. Yeah, but wait, highlight it. Highlight, can't you highlight? Abdul, the book name. Do you see the book name? Do you agree? This is the book name. Where about? Where, can you point out the arrow? Show me where. It's, I'm showing you in the order. People, they can see it. Yeah, I see. I see that. Yes, okay. I see. I so see now that. we agree that this is the book of Arazi. Hold on. So we go to book of yeah. Arazi, 
and you said uh, the Razi uh, Razi is your scholar, correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So whatever Arazi he says, we have to accept. Arazi is all knowledgeable. Let us see what Arazi says. Surah, Surah Al Imran. Hold on, hold on, seven. hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Three verse seven. This is Arazi. Hold on. This is Arazi. Arazi is saying that your prophet saying that the Quran is saying that the women she have a sperm coming from their ribs and the man have a sperm coming from the, the backbone. Topic. No, hold on, because this is a Razi. I want to show everybody in a second how you will change your mind about a Razi, how hypocrite you are. <laughs> Either you accept him or you don't accept him. And then what okay. he said, hold on, hold on, he, hold on. He, he said, he said it clearly. This is how the man is created. There is, there is a water coming from the backbone of the man and the water mm -hmm. coming from the ribs of the women. And then when those two, they mix, they will make a baby. Do you agree with that? Um, my brother can I explain to that. Let's go to the verse. Read, 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 read. Can I read? The, hold on. Give me a chance to read so read. we can go, go step ahead. by step. In front of you. Here we go. If you let, look at let, the let me okay here okay here we go. I, I will I will highlight okay. and you can and you read, read for me. Can I read? Can go I read, ahead. my brother? Can I read first and then we go read? To read. read. Go ahead. <laughs> Hmm. And the word is the plural noun is uh, now we need to basically determine what the means most of the classical commentators like do continue it says it out. says don't 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 stop or you stop translate please translate read and translate I'm translating. according according to Tajul Arus the means means a pelvic arch it says there Tajil it, Arus. it says there the word Tajil Arus in front of you Tajil Arus, Tajil Arus means pelvic arch uh, abdul does According, it say does it say there Tajil Arus? Uh, 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 no it, i i so, so why the, you are going please, out please, oh, please, hold on so we, we look, look, look at this yeah, look yeah, at yeah, this yeah. madness hold on you just said you accept this guy whatever he say here we go this guy yeah. in the front of you why you are adding words is not there just say what it says there exactly and translate for us translate for us translate for us can i Want me to translate? Def translate what, what is highlighted. Translate what is highlighted. Difficult na yad yadifik idan idan saba idan saba rabi sahib al ma lama kana dafqo dafqo al talak. You see, you made it blank again. Al dafqo al talak. Thalik al al ma al sabil al majaz al masir al thaniya. Um, Ori Solbi, uh, Dr. Hayden, Rosahabi, uh, Batompaini, Rafihi, Arab, Lagot, um, Solbun, was Solbun, was Solbun, was Solbun, and Masalata, uh, Thalata, Ronib, Al Maro, Azam, Soraha, Haythut, Runal, Olada. Am I right? Am I Arabic is very good? Mm, this is your Arabic now. I get dizzy. I and I understand nothing of what you say, but translate to us. Let us see if you understand. What but but you, you know Arabic, and you know that Taarib means pelvic arch. Why okay. are you running so away from what, that? What is Taarib? What? Taarib. Ta the word. The word that people are confusing is the word is uh, what Taarib. Okay. What Taarib is? Now, Tajul, listen to me. Listen. Listen. You must also listen to because mm. you raised the question. I never. Talking about God being like a dragon in the Bible. Here we go. Here we go. Surah 86. You ran away from that. Answer, answer. You ran away from the God hmm. the dragon and you came to Surah 86. I'm sorry. Uh, Abdul, read what your scholar he said. Does it say that a taraib is a dhamu sadril mar'a? Yes or no? And it is the location and it is the location of the necklace. Yes or no? Is it the. Listen to me. According to the co commentators utilizing Tajul Arus, what commentator? What commentator? You choose one for me already. This is the one you choose for me. Why you are running away from him? Aren't you the one who said to me this is the scholar I like? Rosie, Rosie, Fakrudin Rosie, Fakrudin Rosie. What does he say? He says pelvic arch. So what is wrong with that? But the he point says is, what? He says what? He says what? He said what? Pelvic arch. What That's arch? Translation. He said, Abdul, stop being <laughs> stupid. It says, <laughs> Does it say that? <laughs> it says, <laughs> Does it say that? <laughs> the Taraib is the bones yeah, of the, 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 the ribs arch. of the women, and it is specifically it is Let no, me teach you no. Arabic, you, you funny uh, speaking Arabic person. No, no, no. Does it say that in the front of no, you? Man. 
My brother, listen to me. Now I am not your brother. Your I am so, not your brother. And now you are, a, you, are a, you are a brother of the devil because you are lying. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you and you are lying. Does it say there, this is the location of the necklace? Yes or no? It doesn't say. It's a pelvic arch. So okay, hold on, hold on. If I copy right now, if I copy right now in the front of everybody and I go to Google Translation, do you, agree, do you accept? Challenge. To copy the ribe. I will I copy the whole sentence. I will copy the whole sentence. You are a scumbag. You have no dignity. You have no dignity. And not only not only that. Let me show you a surprise. I'll, 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 shut up! Shut up! You, shut up! Your comedy! Shut up! Your comedy! Do you see why I hang up on you? I don't respect you. You are a scam like your prophet. It's in the front of our eyes, and yet he says it doesn't say that. And not only that. You're a stupid Arazi. He said that the sperm of the man is coming from his brain. Read with me carefully and laugh, you idiot donkey. This is your Arazi. And so I'm sure now, after now, he will never mention Arazi again to be a scholar. Read with me. He says, uh, 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 he's trying to explain why he want to say that the, the the sperm is coming from the brain. He says, the many come from nerves, or let us say a, a tube, which is for the sperm, which is go around itself. Next to the two eggs, which means like, I think he's saying the balls. And then he says, and if they mean that the, 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 uh, the sperm is coming from there. That is stupid. This is naif. He don't agree with it Because the advance or the sense or the logic says that this is not be true but Most of the logic or most of the parts Which which help to to make the the baby come to be exist is the sperm coming from the brain <laughs> Hold on, don't call me, please. The sperm is coming from the brain. And the brain is the one who inherit. And then it goes to a nukha, which means the, 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 the nerves inside the bones. And that is a solb. So he's saying to you that when the Quran is speak that the, the sperm of the man coming from the solb, which means the backbone, you know, see what, what they call it, this, the, the, the spine, the spine. So... The Quran is saying that the sperm of the man is coming from the spine. He says, yes, it's coming from the spine, but in fact, it's coming from the brain. I will copy. Let me let me let me open Google translation so people will not say I'm making things up. See, now he don't want a Razi no more. Suddenly, a Razi it is, is bad. A Razi. This is your Arazi. Have fun with Arazi. Okay. We will go. We will go first to page number one, starting from page number one, where it says, What is a tribe? Don't call me, buddy. What's wrong with you? I will block you. What's wrong with people? I just said, Don't call me now. Let me finish the topic. Copy, paste. He said to me, "Taraib, taraib does not mean bones. Does not, this is what it says in the front of you? You donkey liar." And I'm sure some Christian they will send me now say, "Don't why you call Muslims such a thing?" Read with me. For sure, here translation is not correct. It says, "Taraib al mar'a idham musadriha haythu takun al qilada." So the 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 taraib is the bones of the women. Where are the breasts and where is the location of the necklace specifically? And this is exactly copy paste from your scholar Arazi. Now we go to the page number two so we can see more comedy. Oh, before we go to uh, uh, comedy number two, uh, he says here <clears throat> that the prophet he says, <laughs> if, the, if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy and the the boy will look like his father and if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl and the baby will look like the mother let us see if we can find this in the hadith 
in English. Oh, we cannot find that, but let us see. We can, we, we can find something else. No problem. We can get Muhammad busted. Let us see. Sometimes you need to find the hadith exactly, the one that says it clearly, because in the Muslim translation, they lie. Let's try. You know, I don't like to mention something without proving it. Reference. You see, all of those, but the Muslim in translation, they don't make it clear. So I want to find you where it says clearly that the baby will be a boy. Here we go. Good. Read carefully with me. A man, he came to Muhammad and he asked him how the baby resembled the father or the mother. He said, Okay? What is the translation for that? As for the child, if the man discharge proceed the women discharge the child attracts similarity to the man but the fact here it says he will be a boy however even if you say it take it as it is it's showing me that muhammad is a false prophet because it doesn't matter who have discharged first this is a stupid muhammad he claimed that the discharge of the women is her sperm and if the women have discharged first the baby will resemble the women which means would be a woman like her let us see another translation hmm. All of this hadith is the same. I'm trying to find you. I showed this hadith many times before, but sometimes you want to find something right away. You know, it, it, it doesn't come. But anyway, as you see, you see, the problem is the translation Muslim they try to present to us. You see, all those hadith are speaking the same. But whoever, look, this one is alone is actually is enough to prove Muhammad to be a, a false prophet. The message of Allah said, the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow. And whichever of them come first, the child will resemble the parents. How he re resemble? By having a baby uh, uh, as a boy or a girl. Uh, Still, I am not satisfied. I will try to find the hadith where it says clearly that is going to be a boy. All right.
Don't call me Abdul. Until I finish. All right. You see, there is many people. They say things, but they say it. I prove it. I don't say things without proof. It takes some time to find it. No problem. Here we go. I found it. And I will show it to you in English too. He said, I came to ask you about the child, which means how the child is formed. He says, Muhammad said, ma rajul abyad wa ma ul mar'a asfar. The, ma the water of the man is white and the water of the woman is yellow. If they meet together and the man have orgasm first before the woman, then is going to be a male by the will of Allah. And if the women sperm came first, the, the 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 baby will be a female by the will of Allah. All right. Now let us see the Muslim translation, which usually they try to hide, but I think here it's coming clear. They cannot hide it no more. So let us see. Here we go. I have come to you to ask you about the child. The Holy Prophet said, the reproductive substance of the man is white and that of the women is yellow. And here you see they put two things between bracket. This is not exist in the hadith. They are trying to cover the shame of your prophet. So what is the, what is the water of the women is yellow. Muhammad describing the water in the women a private part when she is having sex that is nothing but a lotion this is not this is not a sperm and when they have sexual intercourse and the male substance which means he have orgasm first and look here what they add they add chromosome the Muslim trying to cover the shame of Muhammad they add a chromosome Reveal upon the female, which is the orgasm, not the chromosome. The child will be a male. And if the the women she have orgasm first, oh, we have to click at the uh, to read the rest. Hold on. Do you see how they try, how they try to cover the, the the madness? Suddenly, there is a chromosome here. Suddenly. It's a chromosome, brother. Chromosome. Okay. So, when the, when they have sexual intercourse and the male have orgasm first, not substance, come before the male, the female, then the child will be a boy. It is a male child. Do you see it? A male child. Why it's a male child? Because he have orgasm first. How we can prove here they are lying? We can go and see the other hadith of Muhammad himself is speaking about that. Read carefully with me. Never, never trust a Muslim explaining, translating anything for you. Never. Here we go. My God is a dragon, right? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Where is the hadith? Here we go. Is it clear here that this is about orgasm? This is not about a chromosome? Do you see it? Does it say here, whoever comes first? In the other hadith translation, they fabricate tons of sentences just to cover the shame and the lies of Muhammad. It's the same story, the same hadith, different translation. Here is just a copy of the headline. 
whichever comes first not a chromosome that child will resemble the parents how he resemble the parents in the other hadith it's explained the baby will be either a boy or a girl so when I say Muslims they do lie I mean it they are official liars and here they try to add male substance what male substance where do you get this from what substance it says whoever come first chromosome are you sure and by the way the baby gender is because the chromosome of the women <laughs> this is about xy you know all of us we knew how this has happened however uh you will see here that Muhammad he claimed clearly that the reason for that why you are calling me why you are calling me uh, Sanid why you are calling me can you hear me yeah I hear you why you are calling now uh you cut me off didn't before. you say you are 17 years old I'm not I'm not 17 but don't worry about my age I don't know you said to me you're 17 so you were lying to me yeah why do you ask my age because I want to, if you are a kid, I cannot talk to you. If you are underage, this is not a topic for children. No, I'm not underage. Okay, how old are you? I'm 19. 19, so you are over 30. What? You are over 30. You are a man, right? Mate, I said 19. You are 19. Okay, you keep lying. Okay, go. They ask us, to read the interpretation of their scholars and this is the scholar they like the second we show them that the scholar is a stupid suddenly he, he don't want the scholar the same he did last time he said to me read for me from muqatil and he said i check it out there's no muqatil there let me get you busted you liar yes uh, salaman why why are you calling me what do you want yes uh... The hadith you quoted, uh -huh. it says, whoever just uh, charges first, uh -huh. the child, if the man uh, discharge mm -hmm. proceeds of the woman, mm -hmm. then the child, like the father's face. Oh, the father's face. Okay, so if I have orgasm yes. first, the baby will look like my face. It says Allah will decide it to be a male or female. Mm. So, so uh, you are saying to us, according to your understanding, that your prophet saying, that if you have orgasm first, the, 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 the face of the child will look like your face. Do you agree with that? Will look like the father's face if it uh, pre prevails over okay. the woman. But is that, is that really what is happening? Do you, do you believe in that, my friend? Yes. Okay. Do you have a proof that this is what happened? How, how your face look like? Do your face look like your mother or your father? My mother. That's mean your mother, she have orgasm first, according to you. Yes. Okay. Now... Uh, if the mother she have orgasm first the baby will look like the father uh, sorry the, if, the, if the man have orgasm first the baby will look like the father and what if the baby don't look like the father or the mother that's mean who is the one who have orgasm first the neighbor I have never seen a child in my life that doesn't look like the father or mother. No, you know, there's many children. They don't look like their parents at all. Look at you. What? Look at you. Look at you, how you look like. I look like my mother. You, okay. That's mean it's not your father who have sex with her. Because your what? prophet, because your prophet said, if you're, if the father, he have sex with the mother, then and if you have orgasm first the baby will look the, like the, the, the father which means he will be a male not only he will look like him so, oh, so now you look like a male you are not looking like your mother my friend it's it says in the front okay read with me does it say here it's a male do you see it says it's a male so obviously the one who have orgasm first is the male because it's going to make a make a child is going to make to make a male a child so you are a male a child are you a male or a female just to be sure 
many hadith it said. My friend, this is not a, this is not weak. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. In many hadith it said the child will uh, resemble the parent. Here it is just weak. It is trying to say it will look like the man. But this is Sahih. Then, but this is Sahih Muslim, my friend. Then, then, this is the only one saying, yeah, it will look like the fall. It, it will be a male. We will what what? Will be a male. Okay. So here we go. You said to me that your mother have orgasm first, but you came a male. How this happened? That's mean what? your mother. That's mean your mother is a male because if the if the, if the mother have orgasm first, the baby should be a female. But you said to no, me, you look like not, your mother. Saying that. It says that in the front of you. It no, says no, if the man no. have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And then in the other hadith says it clearly that who whoever come first will resemble the parents. So and you said to me, you look like your mother. So obviously your mother is the male, your father is the female. You are confused about the gender of your parents, my friend. Our other hadith. Why what? does it say resemble in our other hadith? Where it says that? Here we go. Let's read together. Here we go. Hadith. Okay. Only one hadith say it be okay. a male because it was written 200 years after Muhammad's death. They okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Here we go. It says it says that if if uh, the man uh, uh, orgasm come first, the baby will be a male child. Oh, this is the only one hadith is saying that. No, all the hadith actually is saying that, my friend. All of them they are saying that. Resemble all the, of them, uh, all of them, all of them, my friend, all of them. Okay, let me no. let me let me show you another hadith. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you another hadith. Okay, hold on. Hold okay. On. Hmm. A woman, she came to your prophet, huh? And then it says, Um Salama said. That Ummu Salim said that oh Allah Apostle, Allah does not refrain from saying the truth. Is it is obligatory for a woman to take a bath after she's she got uh, uh you know she was touching herself? You know, the Muslim women they do stuff in the bedroom. He said, Yes, if she notice water, i.e., discharge in her vagina, she have to do that. Ummu Salama said, Smile. She said, Does women get discharged? By the way, I want to ask you here. Why the wife of the prophet she never had this charge? What? The wife of the prophet Ummu Salama she said to Muhammad, "What? Women they have orgasm? Do you see yes. it? Okay. So why the wife of the prophet she never have orgasm? She never heard of orgasm. She is she is going crazy here. She heard that the women she this woman she have orgasm. So she's saying, does the women have orgasm? So why she is a wife of Muhammad, but yet Muhammad was not able to make her of orgasm until now? What do you think? This is not the topic. This is the topic. Here we go. We are reading this. <laughs> this is the topic, my friend. This is the topic. So your prophet, he is not good in bed. Your prophet is not good in bed. Is I don't think he is using the right parts when he have sex. We have to admit. Oh. Otherwise, no. how a woman she is married to Muhammad all those years, but she have no idea what orgasm is about, and she cannot even believe that women have orgasm. Oh, I can show you a proof that uh, uh, Paul is a false apostle. Okay, what Paul have to do with the orgasm of your prophet now? Oh, you're changing topic. Okay, okay, let's continue. Let's continue. And then, and the Allah apostle said, otherwise, why the child resembled the mother? So now this woman, she have orgasm and she have wet water in her vagina. And Muhammad, he claimed that because of that wet water, the child resembled the mother. Do you see? Yeah, it? It, will, it, it resembled the mother by looking. Uh, the uh, the the face will look like the mother. Mm. What about the breast? Does it what say? Happened? Does it say the face here? Does it say the word face? No, it says resemble. Okay, resemble, resemble, <laughs> resemble, resemble. It means you will look like your mother exactly. Not only the face. Yeah. yeah yes, face. Which resemble? If I resemble my mother, that's mean I became a female. My, because my my mother, she have a she have a breast. She have a private part of a female. She is a woman. So to be to resemble a woman, you have to be a woman. No, 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 no. Okay, no. can you say ow, 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 ow? Because you are saying to me meow, 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 meow. Well, what does have to do? Don't you see? It's in front of you. Okay, let no. me let me let me make it more clear for you. No. According to your religion, according to your religion, when you're a prophet, he is saying that the, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be resemble the father. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ummu Salama, she never have orgasm, as you see in the hadith. 
correct? Yes. Okay, that's mean the children of Muhammad, they will never resemble anyone else except him. No. What do you mean? No, you are the, you, it says that if, uh, if, uh, if the women have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the other one who said that to me. What's wrong with you? No, no, no. We, 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 you, you, you. Okay, forget about this. Forget about this. Let us go to Allah. He have hands. We heard Zakir Naik saying, Allah, he have body. What do you think about the body of Allah? Yes. How uh, the body, the body of Allah resemble who? His mother or his father? Nobody. Nobody. So how you know that the body of Allah does not resemble nobody? Because he said, uh, he says, nothing is like me. Okay, nothing like me too. Even my dad is not like me. So does that mean I am God? I'm not like anyone. This is why if I, I commit a crime, the police, they can find me from my fingerprints, from my DNA, because I'm not like anyone. Does that mean I'm God? No. Okay, so what does this not like anyone mean? I mean, Muslim, you keep repeating the same thing. The Bible says that God is nothing like God, but this is about his glory, about his power, about his uh, ability, not about uh, his fingers. So when you're a prophet, he says, Allah have uh, two hands on the right side. Yes. Why he's saying that, do you think? Because shaitan has two left hands. Oh, the shaitan. Okay, here we go. We 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 got a smart Muslim here. So shaitan have two hands and they are left. Allah, he have two hands and they are right. That makes sense. Okay. Now, what will happen if uh, for Allah if he have hand in the left side, he will become shaitan? Yes. Okay. So what is going to decide who is God is the location of the hand. So if I show you a spider have only legs from the right side, that means he's Allah. No. You are the one who just said to me, Shaitan, he has hey, what animal? Show me one animal that has uh, two uh, right side, two uh, right legs. Show me, uh, shait, uh, uh, show, show me what shait, uh, he have two show right me. legs. It's show okay, me an I, animal that has two. I can cut them off, show me. I can cut them off, and he will have two, uh, he will have only legs from the right side. That will make him Allah. No, no, okay, uh, okay, let us go to something more, more clear. As long as shaitan, he have left hands only, he don't have right hands, and Allah have right hands only, and he have two hands in the right side. If something in the left side of Allah and he want to grab it, how he can grab it? That's right hand. But that is not in his left no more. He have to move. I mean, that would be funny. What? How he can do that? I mean, you're okay. imagine yourself, you have two hands in the right side, and there is something yes. in your left. Okay, so it's something in my left. Let us say Christian Prince, he stood next to Allah and he spanked him, but he stand next to him in the left hand. How uh, Allah, no, how Allah he can respond? Say that. What? I'm just it's trying to figure out what this is God is about. I call you God the devil. Uh, uh, okay, 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 Abdul, <laughs> Abdul, Abdul. Uh, you said that Shaitan, he have two left hand in his, uh, in, 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 the, in his, uh, uh, his side. What, what about the what about the penis of shaitan? Is it in his left? In his two arms. Allah has two arms. Allah have two arms, but where is the penis of Allah? Okay, fuck you and your God. Fuck Wh you. Why you are upset? Why are you upset? Take it easy. Did you eat garlic today? Hello? Hmm. My friend, don't eat garlic because the angels don't like those who eat garlic. I can show you the hadith. Allah will curse you. Why Muslims get upset? You're, you're, you're a prophet. You see, they keep saying to us, nothing like Allah, nothing like Allah, but Allah is like everybody. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? <clears throat> Are you a Muslim, my friend? Um, hello? Are you a Muslim? I don't know. Do you remember? I have called you some days ago, maybe one week ago. No problem. I have some questions. Are you a Muslim? Do you remember? I don't know. Maybe you don't remember. Are you a Muslim? I Muslim that one. I have some questions, especially about dogs and jealousy in the heaven. Okay, so you, so, you, so you are a person who called me before and you left Islam before? Oh, no, I told you that I have a lot of 
doubts and oh, I have a lot so of you still so you still you are not um, you did not leave Islam yet right no I left it oh you left oh okay that's good so you, you, you are the like one of those who called me on air and he said I left Islam but, mm, no I have just was I'm um, waiting for people for somebody for state scholars that I mentioned last time mm. who can call you and debate with you about that questions and just right now uh, was some guys who called you and uh, you so, okay. was, uh, so my friend I'm, I'm happy for you that you left Islam what do you want to say to us go ahead no I have just questions so uh, that about this uh, resemble to the father or to the mother and that's this kind of thing because mm. it's so ridiculous even the even the women uh, would get discharged first so doesn't mean that uh, according to that science uh, it's uh, even the chromosomes you know you you just uh, show the, the, the hadith where where uh, mentioned somebody uh, some muslim scholars add that uh meaning that there was uh, talking about uh chromosomes and genes but uh, the problem is uh all the women i mean x chromosomes and x y chromosomes all uh, going with sperm which uh going from the man so it means that uh, all of this doesn't uh, yeah, to make doesn't, it simple my friend to make it simple the water of the women is not her egg there is an egg muhammad is talking about water in her vagina this is stupid so the women she have an egg is not a water yes, will make the baby there is no there is no genes in the yeah the secondly the secondly yes the woman he is saying that the women she have a sperm and the man have a sperm he described between the sperm of the man and sperm of the woman so he says the women's sperm is yellow and the one and the man's sperm is white and thick and this is very stupid of him to say secondly uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter who have orgasm first it doesn't matter which color maybe yeah blue, doesn't, maybe red. doesn't doesn't matter, matter who have orgasm first will be the baby because orgasm have nothing to do with gender or anything it doesn't matter which color because women uh, women water doesn't have any chromosomes and genes which could change the the uh, the sex of the child yeah well my friend i'm happy that you left I islam so seems you say quick which one is most quick and the second one is more um strong mm. and the so the strongest one is the it, it's it's female chromosomes okay and the quick the quicker one is uh male chromosome so mm. all, all of them going from the man okay my friend as long as you left islam what do you want to say to the muslims who they are still muslims what do you want to say do you have a message for them yes just uh, be, be more educated get more educated and you educate, educate, educate. and the more the more educated you get the more you will you will know Islam is false correct I mean there, there is not not because of is it false or not it's just ridiculous sometimes yeah this really? is what it means false ridiculous just means stupid this is what it says you know it's, you are saying stupid I understand that's, that's you just need to be more educated just more rich i don't know mm. i really i don't know if there's some god or now it may be there is but that kind of god which uh, i don't know which uh, uh, solving what do you think about allah uh, having two hands in the right side what do you think about allah having two hands violence. about allah two hands what do you think about his hands in the right side <laughs> You know, uh, the problem is, uh, you know, all of them t talking, the, telling that uh, the Allah also have two hands, mm. and all uh, and both of them are white, mm. and everybody who is left-handed, you know, some, some about fifty percent in the, uh, in the uh, fifty percent of women in the world are left-handed. No, this is not about left-handed, my friend. This is about his two I hands. Mean, this no, no, no. This is not about left-handed. This is about right hand. Yeah, this is two hands, both of them in the right side of him. Okay. Yes, and and yeah. uh, Shaitan also have two hands. Uh, also, in the left uh, side, in the left side, as the, the guy he said, side. Hmm, which is All funny. The people who you who use left hands hmm. is belonging to the Shaitan, to the hmm. Satan. Yeah. All right, my friend. But it's stupid, you know. It's it's ridiculous. You know? Uh, I agree with you. I have left hand. I agree with you. <laughs> I have left hand. All right, my but friend. But I'm not. I'm, I'm normal. I don't know why. Well, I am happy for you that you left Islam, my friend, and I hope your family will leave Islam soon, as you did. More people uh, just read, just read and be educated. Just be yeah. educated. All right. Thank you, my friend, for Thank calling. You.
You know, I really wait every day. I just open you. Uh, you know, I don't. Uh, you don't remember uh, which day I called you, but every mm-hmm. day, every day I open your uh, channel in the YouTube, and mm-hmm. every day reading some somebody. You you this debate every time you're making the video. It's more about about three and four hours. So every day I, after my work, come back home. It might die. So my videos, they they help you. They help you to make decisions. I just to watch and wait. I just watch and wait. Do somebody come? Did somebody come to debate with you and uh, really hmm. uh, answer the questions? Hmm. She asked. You know, Maybe as long as question, long as long you left Islam, my friend. As long you left Islam, you know, you know, I am a Christian. My name is a Christian prince, and I would like to invite you to accept yeah. Jesus as your savior. What do you think? I need more, more proof. All right. More proof. Hmm. I just need more proof. I just need more. Uh, I want you to do this. You I see? Yeah, I understand. No, I understand. This today, I agree with you. We should not accept a faith or belief without without being sure. I agree with yeah. you. We are not. We want to. We don't want to be the same as the Muslims, crazy people, right? I agree with you. But what what kind of a proof you are looking for? <laughs> the first one is existing. It's what? Existing. Existing of what? Exists. That God is exist. You mean? Yeah. Well, you know, for me. Because, because okay. Let, 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 let us let us say let us say let us assume that God does not exist. Let us assume that God does not exist, because in order to prove something to be exist, we have to assume first that it's not exist in order to prove that he is exist. So, when a scientist he speak about matter and he says that there is something became a matter after was no matter you know you heard of something called the big bang right yeah okay yep. but they say that the big bang is the matter became exist after it was no matter correct yeah i mean isn't this is a crazy how there's no it's... matter and then the matter became to exist how explosion happened but there's no matter so you are trying to do the same you are saying to me well let us first prove that God is exist, but the science no, which you use yes. yourself in your logic says that there's nothing was exist and then the matter came to exist and this is a crazy So if we assume that God does not exist and matter became exist As the science do we will look a crazy For me the story is different. I believe that there's nothing is called the matter was not exist We believe that God is exist and then every matter came to be existence because of him and there's nobody can prove that wrong, by the way, because simply all what the science says is crazy. As we, as we said, the Big Bang, they say to us something explode. How you say there's nothing, nothing, and then something explode? That's stupid to say. Uh, it, either there's something or there's nothing. No, uh, I'm not totally denying of existing. It, 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 it should be. It, uh, it, if I totally deny that there is some really existing, there is not existing, it's be more stupid. It's also ridiculous. It's like yeah. I'm denying okay, my friend. Uh, that I have you know, two hands. There's many people you, trying, to, trying I mean, to call. Let us do this, my friend. I don't know your name, but you can keep your name for yourself. Uh, I want you to listen to me okay. carefully. It's and if you have any questions about the Bible or about Jesus, I will be happy to answer you. But we have a brother. His name is Sam Shamoon. And we have an agreement, me and you and him, that if somebody want to learn about the gospel, I will send him to him. You know, so if you want the people, they will post for you the link of Brother Sam Shamoon because this is a specialty, and my specialty is Islam. Anything you like to know about the Messiah, he will be happy to teach you. But however, to 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 tell you in a very simple way how I know that God is exist. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my friend, hold on, hold on. You, you know, you, I, I believe that you don't deny God, as you said, right? You be, you have a feeling that the God I'm is good. Totally uh, right, okay. Just, which is good, which is good. But look at this. You see, we have someone, his name is the Messiah. And this mm -hmm. Messiah, who is supposedly a normal person, as many people, they say, especially the Muslims, he is just a man. But this person, the second you believe in him, your life change. Your life change, even if you are a criminal, even if you are a hitman, if you, if you are a criminal who killed people. And then I need to explain to myself how somebody who is just a man, if I believe in him, he changed me from inside and I turned to be a new person. And that is a proof that God is really powerful because look at me. 
you know, I know people. I actually, I, I met, I met some people who became Christians. They are literally criminals. They used to be criminals. This is what they do for a living: crimes. The second they became Christians, they became preachers. Very nice people. Very, very, very friendly. So, how in the world you can change a criminal? You see, I have a degree in law, and one of the study we do is a is a is a criminal science, which means why a person he became a criminal. So we, then we read what the atheists they say that there is some people they inherit some violence genes in their DNA and etc. This is why some people they are violence and some people they are not. Blah 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 blah. And then we study that in the winter time people they are not uh, violence as much as in summer time. Blah 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 blah. But it doesn't matter. This guy is the same guy. He is a criminal all his life, committing crimes, going after people, violence. Maybe he's a thief. Maybe he's a, uh, uh, he killed many. But yet the second he became a Christian, he changed. That is a miracle. Because here we go, science says it's in your DNA, which as I believe is stupid to say even, to say to say so. But, but science cannot explain some stuff happening to us around us and until now doctors who they are atheists when something they can't explain they call it a miracle so our god himself is a miracle he changed us from inside he is the miracle himself how i can be me after all what i was just because i believe in him today i became a new person that's why we christian we believe that when we believe in jesus we are reborn again we are not just by Okay, I'm, I'm born from a Christian family. That will not make me Christian. We don't believe in that Christianity. You are reborn again with Jesus. And the second you became reborn, you became a new person. New person in the belief, new person in the behavior, new, new, new person in your love, in your deal, in how, how, you, how you see the world. Even the vision of things around you will change. That is the proof for me that Jesus is my Lord. Same time, there's tons of proofs around us. Miracles happen every day in the name of Jesus. But I start with myself. I believe in Jesus and he changed me. I am better than what I used to be. The more I am far away from him, the more I am worse. A true believer in Jesus, he will be an amazing person. And the more he is close to the Lord, the more he is be more amazing. So you might find a Christian person he's a lot better than Christian prince. Why? Because he is more close to the Messiah. I am still far away. So this is how we learn about him that he is exists. He changed us. We feel different. We see different. We think differently. You will go in the street. You see a person who is a Christian who believe in Jesus. You see how his face is calm. He is relaxed. He's happy. You go in the mosque. You see Muslims are upset, are angry, shouting like crazy. The devil is there. You know, uh, if you let me say just one, well, just one minute uh, about the Christians and how are they happy. I don't know. It's um, uh, it's um, uh, it's not me who can uh, judge somebody, but uh, you know, I have a friend when I was at, when I was at school, mm -hmm. I was studying. This my friend was very good, you know. As, and he, he also uh, uh, come with me uh, get to the mosque, and after sometimes I realized that he he became Christian. You know, mm -hmm. he. Uh, you know, in that place, like Muslim countries, place and where uh, about ninety nine percent of people are Muslims, how it's how it's danger to become mm -hmm. Christian for mm -hmm. him. And he was about maybe I don't know, I, I, and and I, I don't want to lie, I don't know, but he was very young, very very young, mm. uh, and uh, and I saw how. How he suffered, you know, because every time when when all the Muslims, all the friends, all the classmates, and all the people, neighbors of him uh, get to disturb him, got something, just want to get for him some problems, hit him or sometimes, and he was very, very, you know, very kind. He never, uh, uh, he never was aggressive. Why well, don't know? So I don't know. Is the Islam is your religion of peace or other religion, but I'm so really I'm not, I'm not, for my hair. I'm not. All right, my uh, to, you to, see, I will let you I to make you, Christian you, or maybe I like Christian. I just no I just, problem, no problem. It, you know, take your time. Uh, I, just I advise to say, you to read really, the Bible. I advise you to read the Bible. 
and yes, take your time and think more. about it. I just want to say, yes, I just want to say that I really wish a lot of Christians who are really peaceful and uh, really, really kind to other people. I don't know is if there are some religion of peace in these days in twenty one century it must be Christian. Yeah. All right. Thank you, my friend. I I I, I, I appreciate you, and I pray. I pray, and let us all the Christians here pray for this our brother here, that may the Lord, uh, uh, you know, send you an invitation in your heart, and bring mm -hmm. you to Him. And we pray, even if you don't become a Christian, I say to you that the Lord, He love you, and the Lord, He want to bless you, and the Lord, He want you to be safe. And the Lord is not against you, and He don't hate you. He love every one of us. Christianity is not about Jesus. He love Christians only. God, He love all those who belong to Him, and you belong to Him, my friend. So I pray to the Lord that He will save you, and He will bring you, and He will show you the truth. Christian Prince, maybe he is weak. He cannot show you. Maybe he is he's, he, he was not able to convince you. But I pray to the Lord that he will might open your eyes and bring you to him and make you have a new year and a new life and your family and you will be light in your family. So you bring more and more people out of the cult of Islam and you bring more and more people to the love of Jesus so we can have a peaceful world. <clears throat> Me and you and all the Muslims together because Jesus Christ is the word of peace which bring peace in our life, change us from inside. Make us a better human being. Make us the same as the likeness of God. He said, be good as your father. So my friend, I say to you, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord make you good as you are created to be. And when you feel you like know, you uh, want to call me and you want to say to me, I want to be a Christian, I would be happy to hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Just the last one. Lord, you told about this uh, pray and something. This, this, and uh, what I'm talking right now, nobody know about it. Really, nobody know. But I have some trouble some days ago. I don't know. Maybe it's coincidence. I don't know. I don't. So maybe it's coincidence. But I really get this, this problem after that. If there is some God, if there is Jesus, maybe he, if you are really the really God, so just help me to solve this problem. And my problem really so maybe it's coincidence. I'm not talking that this miracle or something or really uh, or, or unbelief, but this happened. And I'm just I will uh, I will search more search. I don't want to be uh, to to believe everything that's about everybody. I just want to if if he if he really a God, so I must find him by myself. All right, my friend. We pray that you will find him, and we hope that you will do very soon. All right. Okay. Peace. Take care. Take care. Good. Good applause. My friend, the Lord, He Himself, He said, "Knock at my door; I will open for you." The problem is that we wait for Him to come to us. We don't want even to come to Him, and He is the King of Kings. Yet He is very humble. All what He wants from you, just knock at my door, and I will open for you. When you search for something, you find it. You see. When somebody go to a nightclub because he is searching for a nightclub. When somebody goes, when somebody goes to a bad place, he is searching for the bad place. You go where you belong. So it depends what you are searching for. Yes, Abdul, why you are calling me? Yes. Why do you believe in? A... Why you are saying? Why you said to me? Apologize first for saying the F word. Why? Why you say the F word? Is that is that what your mom taught you? No, you called uh, you call my God the devil. I did not say your God the devil. The devil is better than you your that... God. No, the devil is better than your God. Okay. Uh, and I can prove it to you that the devil is better than your God. Let me tell you, did the devil te did, did did the devil teach you to have sex with your daughter or your God? What? Did the devil teach you as a Muslim to have sex with your daughter or your God Allah? I just had one question. Abdul, answer the question. You said uh, you get upset because I said Allah is the devil. I said, no, I did not say that. The devil is better than your yes. God. Okay. Why your God Allah, he said that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery? Why did he say that? Okay, if I show you that, what you will do? 
No, I just uh, I just want to see. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, we go in the Quran, and we go to this chapter. You see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> I think you know Arabic a little bit, right? Oh. No? Do you have a friend who knows Arabic? He can call us? Just uh, show me in English. But I don't have it in English. I want you to. Can you give me a friend? Is it in Hadith? Hold on. No, this is Quran, and we will read the interpretation. Okay, uh, uh, which verse? Okay. Can you find me a Muslim friend to read for us? No. Why you no. cannot find me a Muslim friend? From all the Muslims, you cannot find me one. Why? Because uh, they don't the best. Okay, if I translate for you now, you might say I'm lying. So what we will do now? Can you? Why you don't call a friend? Not why even, uh, not even one, not even one Muslim give, friend give, who knows give, Arabic. Not you don't give, even. Give okay. me the verse. Give me the verse. Give me the verse. Okay. Well, this is uh, as you see in the front of you on the screen. This is a chapter twenty-five, verse number fifty-four, and this is the interpretation of Al-Qurtubi. Do you see it? Okay. Uh, let me just read Quran. Hmm. But uh, but but I I thought you don't know Arabic. No, I don't know. So how do you read Quran? In English, I'm uh, oh, learning in, Arabic. Ah, uh, in English. Oh, okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm learning Arabic. Mm, that's wonderful. I'm learning Arabic too. And it is he who created from rather a human being and made him a re re relative by a lineage, lineage and marriage, and ever is your Lord. Mm. Oh, um, but why did you say that? In the interpretation, it says that here it says. That Allah He created you and He made you as a lineage from marriage, right? He My created friend. you. He created you from water. He created you from water, and He made you after that from lineage, which means from marriage. Correct? Okay. The, the tafsir thought that. And the tafsir the, uh, says, hold on. The tafsir says. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. The tafsir thought that the uh, mountains are effects from uh, that the earth that the earth was on a giant uh, well on his back. Hmm. And that the that the mountains are like facts to prevent the earthquakes from him. Yeah, this is true. The mount, the the the, the Quran teaches us that the tafsir says oh, that no. Allah He carry the the earth is carried in the top of a of a of our ball. Yes, the, the mountains are facts to prevent him. They are they, they all say they all say bullshit. Ah, so you are saying to me, you're scared they say bullshit. Yes. Why you why you're scared they say bullshit? What do you think? Because they. They were living in the uh, 14th to 10th mm. century. Okay, so now. so now me and you, we agree that your scholars, they are bullshit scholars, correct? Yes. Okay, thank you very yes. much. Well, that's nice. I mean, I'm happy that you have a bullshit scholars. Do you have any scholars not bullshit? In the 21st are you uh, saying, like, Are you saying all the scholars, they are bullshit? Because we just played Zach and I, he said, Allah have a body. Do you agree with Allah having a body? Yes, Zach and I? No, no. I, I I mean tafsir. Hmm. Tafsir, yeah, okay. Okay, my friend, there's a Muslim when I call me and he don't agree with you that the scholars are bullshit. He said the scholars are... What? He said that, I will see what he want to say to me. So let me hang up on no, you and take oh, his... Fuck him, fuck him. Oh, fuck okay, okay, him. hold on. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. Yes, my friend, how are you doing? I'm fine, hello. I am very good. So, what do you think about the Quran speaking that you can have sex with your daughter in the interpretation if she is daughter from adultery? <coughs> Where is the, the hadith? You are the person who speaks Arabic. You are perfect. It's in the front of you. This is the chapter of 25, verse number 54. And this is Tafsir al Qurtubi, as you see in the screen. Jami'u al Ahkam al Ahkam al Quran al Qurtubi. And read with me. Here we go. Read it. Mm. 
You speak Arabic. You are Moroccan. You are Moroccan. Okay. All of this to read this is just four lines. But this is not a hadith, this is just uh... interpretation. Interpretation, okay. It says you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from adultery. Why, why you Muslim believe in that? Read the brother, read, read in Arabic. Read, let us hear your, your Arabic reading. I want to, I, I like, I like Moroccan when they read Arabic. Go ahead. Praise be to Allah. We have an amazing book teaching us that if I have a daughter, she is not my the daughter of my wife, but she is my daughter, I can have sex with her too. That's amazing, brother. This is his interpretation. It's true, but this is the interpretation. This is your scholar, Al Qurtubi, and uh, this is not me. This is not a Christian scholar. You, why Al Qurtubi saying that, my friend? Why Al Qurtubi saying that? Why Al Qurtubi saying that? You mistake him. Okay. Is he is not a prophet? He can be. He can do any mistake. Hmm. He's not a prophet. Yes. But the Quran says, okay. Let me ask you. According to the scholars of Islam, is your daughter from adultery yes. is considered as your daughter? I don't know about this. Uh, oh, don't tell me you do not know. Suddenly, no. suddenly you do not know. Come on, you are a Moroccan person. You speak Arabic. Uh, you know. Yes, your Arabic is funny, like your prophet. But it's, it's still okay. You can read. So don't tell me I do not know. According to Islam, a daughter from adultery is not considered as a daughter. You know that. She don't have inheritance. She cannot carry the father's name. She cannot take money from the father. She is no one. Why? Because she is not considered as a daughter. Correct? Listen, this is the subject. I don't know. No, this is the subject. This is the subject. Because of that, because of that, she is not your daughter. So the Quran forbid you from having sex with your daughter because the one she is your daughter is only daughter from marriage. And this what, what it says here. Difference? This is what it says is here. Say, if you have a daughter out difference? of marriage, Islam forbid you, the Quran forbid you from having sex from your daughter in chapter 4, verse number 23. Correct? Okay, so it's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter. But only a daughter in Islam is a daughter in Islam is what? A daughter from marriage. And you know that. So what kind of a prophet, what kind of religion teaches such a teaching? What is the problem in the verse? The verse he say your mother and your the daughter. problem. No, the this problem is, is saying the problem is saying the that you you no the problem the problem is that you can have sex with your daughter. So let us say you have you are a Muslim who live uh, in Morocco and you step with the women mm -hmm. out of marriage and then she gave you a beautiful girl according to Allah. You can have sex with the mother of the daughter and the daughter in the same time as you see in the front of you on the screen. The verse didn't say anything about my friend. The, does does the scholar says that or I'm lying? Scholar is not the Quran. Scholar the, my friend, is okay. This, uh, so why you call him a scholar if he's a scumbag? Why you call him a scholar if he's saying something stupid like this? How you allowed him to be even exist as a scholar to teach you Islam and Allah, and you must then call him a scholar, but he 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 give you the garbage if this is not a true. If, if if a scholar want to see something, you cannot force him to to not see it. This is his opinion. Okay, what is your opinion, how? my friend? So, uh, so how we understand Islam then? If this is the opinion of the scholar saying I can have sex with my daughter, and the opinion of the scholar is wrong, so should we follow your opinion, your Majesty? I should follow the Quran. Quran say you don't, you don't, uh, you don't, you don't have uh, sex with your mother and your daughter. Mm. Okay, this let me ask you. Let me ask okay. you. Okay, okay. Does the Quran say that in the heaven? In the heaven, you are going to have whatever you wish. Yes. Okay. If somebody wished to have sex with his mother in the heaven, is that going to be granted? It depends on the person. Okay. So you are saying to me, guys, did you hear it? If a man in the heaven of Allah, he wished to have sex with his mother, it's fine. 
he can have sex with his mother. Why you are saying it's okay? Uh, okay, according to who is, is it wrong in the heaven? Okay, I'm asking you according to, you said it's it's right, no problem. I'm not saying wrong or right, I'm asking you. It's what is the so, wisdom? What is the so wisdom? Okay. What is the wisdom in your religion that in the heaven you can have sex with your mother? In the heaven, you can. You, Allah will give you what you whatever you want. If you want it, this is your your, your business. So okay. So in, in in the heaven of Allah, if somebody he is a gay, he's a homosexual, and he would have sex with men, is he going to be granted men to have sex with? My friend, Allah, He says you will get whatever you want. He didn't go to the details. My friend, that's it. it. I got you. I got you. So so in the heaven of Allah, in the heaven of Allah. Hmm? In the heaven of Allah, you will have whatever you wish. A guy who is a gay, he like to have it bang bang from the wrong location. You know what I'm talking about. Allah, He will grant him. Allah will give him. Allah will give him a gay to if uh, together. So your the the heaven of your God is uh, what is that? I mean, when we say whatever you wish, that's mean. So what the point of saying you cannot do this in earth, but you cannot do it. You can do it in heaven. Why Allah says that being a gay in earth is a big sin, but being a gay in heaven is okay. Do you know why? Why? Because this, because in the earth we it's it's a test. But after in the heaven there is no sin, there is nothing, there is no the day of judgment. So you will live here for for okay. forever. So in so the heaven of Allah, sin. in the heaven of Allah, you Muslims are a bunch of hippies. You are a bunch of hippies. You you have your penis in your hand and you go and you put your penis wherever you wish. That's what you are saying to me, right? Your mother, your sister, your daughter, your neighbor, your brother. You f everybody. This is what you are saying to me. There is no limitation. You f whoever in your my way. Friend, my friend, when Allah say you can have whatever you want, mm. if you want something, if you want to, if someone. Mm. What the, the, what if somebody? What, okay, hold on. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to insult. My friend, listen to me. Listen to me. What if a man? He, what if a man he wished to 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 f your prophet? Can I answer? Yes, sure. Go ahead. If you want to do anything to, to someone else, the person that you want to do it, he also he want to. If he refuse, he you cannot do it. You know, hmm. because it depends on the two person. It doesn't say that. Just do no, it you. doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says whatever you wish, what? whatever you wish as okay. an individual, not ever uh, whatever you wish, and you know whatever you wish. But okay. anyway, anyway, if a man he okay. if a man okay if a man he wanted to have sex with your prophet, Allah he said to him whatever you wish. Is that okay? And the and the prophet also he have what he really wish. Okay. And he so if the prophet, the, if, the, you are saying to me, if your prophet agree that he will bend over the guy, he can do him. He there's no problem. He will, he will never agree because you, this is your. Uh, how function. you know? How you know? Your prophet, he your prophet obviously he like he like men, isn't it? Isn't it true that your prophet he put uh, eyeliner three times a day? My friend, this is your assumption. How I you am not assumption. I can show you the reference. Is it true? Is it true that you're a prophet? He kiss a man down his belly. My friend, we are talking about the heaven. We are Which talking about earth. If he is doing that in earth, why he will not do that in heaven? Muhammad already he liked to kiss men down their belly. That's mean in the heaven he will like yeah. to do so. Right? Your philosophy in heaven doesn't work, my friend, because the two person. Because if you want to do something, that what you, what you want, the other person, he will do what he wants. No problem, so, no problem. But you said to me that a, a man in the heaven, he will get whatever he wish. Obviously, you're a prophet. He wished to kiss men down their billing. So you're a prophet in the heaven. Sure. Right away when he go to heaven, he will ask Allah to send him men who have nice billy so he can kiss them all over there. And the guy will say to him, please, please don't stop. Please, they're right there, right there. This is the hate in front of you. Read it. This is the hadith. Read it. Show me the Arabic one. No problem. Here we go. What do you think? I don't see it. Just uh, move the screen. What do you mean you don't see it? It's clear. 
Ne bu Aysa ya? Okey okey. Okey siz ne diyorsunuz? I wish Muhammad at that time he have a camera so we can watch him live. I will be the first one to subscribe to watch him in video. My friend, hmm. the heaven has nothing to do with the earth. The heaven. So you agree the, that your prophet the, kissing men, kissing no, men down no. their belly, down to their balls, and he is a prophet of God, and now he is in heaven. Obviously, Muhammad he liked that. So in the heaven of Allah, he is going for sure agree with the man. He want to have sex with him. There's no problem no, with Muhammad no, saying that. Huh? Okay, isn't it your prophet? Isn't it your prophet? He said that in the heaven there's a market, and this market there's images of men and women. Show me, no problem. And and uh, and uh, you know, and uh, if you wish to have sex with the uh, uh, with any image, men or women, you go right away and you enter the image and you have sex with it. Read the hadith for me, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, what is the problem? Is the problem, problem is the problem is that in the heaven of Allah, it's granted for you. Even even there's, market, there's a market, there's a market in heaven where you can go to the market. In the mall, there's nothing but images of men and women. But the customers are men, as you see in the hadith. So whenever a man he wish a desire of a of an image, but images are images of men and women. So when a Muslim man have a desire of any image, he enter it to have sex with it. So now if somebody what the problem is, what you is go in the heaven in Las Vegas. Okay, you are we are walking in Las Vegas. You saw an image of La, uh, Michael Jackson. You will have sex with Michael I'm Jackson. Talking about huh? The heaven is not there. Are you seeing this is a sin? So having sex with oh, having sex with Michael Jackson in heaven for you as a man is not a sin, correct? My friend, are you seeing this is a sin? For and me, it's yes, bad. it's a sin. It's a sin. Yeah, it's a big sin. For me, it's because a sin. I'm a Christian. Huh? In, the heaven, in the heaven, there is no sin. You can, you will, you will, you will, never, you will never be judged in the heaven. Okay, so you are there saying to no us, you are saying to us, in the heaven of Allah, everybody he he have sex with anyone, male, man with man, uh, with your children. What about children? You can have sex with your children too, right? Because whatever you wish. There's many people they are what sick in their mind. There, there is people they are sick in their mind. They like to have sex with children. What do you think about having sex with children? Do you agree with that in the heaven too? What if somebody decide? What if somebody Allah wish? Will... What if somebody wish to have sex with your son in the heaven of Allah? It is you who will do it. I know this because all all, all you are thinking is 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 uh, about if if in the heaven. The well, your God Allah, Allah if your God Allah He says if isn't it your God Allah He says if uh, your God Allah keeps saying if how come Allah can't see an if I cannot say if here we go you are the one who say it to me if if He wish to have it you are the one who use the word if. So you can use it, I cannot use it. Why? Here we go. You are in heaven, yeah. and now you like to have sex with the children, and you are saying to me, There's no objection. You we Muslim, we can have sex with male, with male and female, children and adult. What if a guy he want to have sex with a donkey? Is it okay? Can I answer? Sure, go ahead. We know that in Islam the 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 people when we when he go to heaven mm. he will not have the same the same quality as in the earth yeah you will have a, you have a lot more ugly quality obviously you became more ugly because you just said to me in the heaven of allah you will be you you will turn to be addicted to sex you have sex with everything on your way i'm sure if you go to the heaven mm -hmm. and you see a hole in the wall you will put your penis there because nothing is forbidden no more in the earth, you Muslims, you have a fatwa. You have a fatwa that you can have sex with watermelon. I can show it to you. Watermelon, even watermelon, you have sex with it. So in the heaven, if in the earth you are doing this, in the heaven, what you would do what? You will have sex with watermelon. You will have sex with the fig. You will have sex with the rabbit. You will have sex with the birds. You will have sex with the cats. You will have sex with boys. I mean, there's no limitation in the heaven of Allah. So the heaven of Allah is nothing but a porn palace. Are you finished? Go ahead, I'm listening. You you think about sex in the earth because this you need it to to to, to live, but in the heaven hmm. the the you have a new creation. 
Yeah, so but, but all okay. that you are thinking mm. that has nothing to do with the earth. So why your why your prophet is promising you all uh, just sex in the heaven? If this has nothing to do with the earth, why your prophet even he promised you that in the heaven your penis will never go soft and you will f as many as you wish? Why he promised you that the man in the heaven he will have the power of forty men for bang bang? If this is different creation, or what we see that you you became more addicted to sex, you are not out of sex, you became worse. So in earth you have a power of one man, but in the heaven you need more because you will have the power of forty men. Are you finished? Yeah, each time I say something to you, you say to me, Are you yeah. finished? But you don't say anything. Did your God Allah, did your prophet, he promise you the power of 40 men and he promised you that your penis will never go sleep? Did the, did the Quran speak about what, you, what we will have in uh, the heaven? You will well, you just said to me, you Whatever have... you wish, are you wishing, are you wishing yourself that your penis will not go uh, good? You just said to me, you, Whatever you wish, and your prophet, he says that, yeah. Okay, why why you will you wish something something bad according to you? Why you don't wish anything good? What is the good in Islam? Here we go. Look at the good. This is the good. Muhammad taking an oath. This is the good of Islam. Muhammad taking an oath that I swear by Allah that any one of you, the lowest, this is the lowest reward for a Muslim. This is the bad reward. That when you go to the heaven, you will have at least seventy-two wives, and from the 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 the, the two uh, uh, two like seventy of them. They are from the one Allah he would import from the heaven, which means they are prostitute because they have a nice vagina and they have a beautiful beautiful breast, as you see. You see, it says here, and uh, 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 from his inheritance from the people of hell. So Allah will choose the most expert women in sex and they are hookers. They are very good in sex and they are very beautiful and he will import them from hell and then he will bring them to you and they have to have a specific qualification. They have desirable front passages, which means they have nice nipples, they have nice breasts, they have nice vagina, you name it, all right? And then he promised you in the top of that, that I swear by Allah, that your private part will become like a concrete, will never go sleep. What is the problem with? There's, there's no problem. Thank you very much, guys. There's no problem. This guy, this Muslim from Morocco, he see no problem with that. No problem. Okay, this is this is Islam, my friend. Thank you very much. There's no problem. My friend. Hmm. No problem with this. Hmm. You don't see a problem here. Is it just sin? No, there is no problem because because well, define me what is well all, all what, what you said to me is a sin you said to me okay let's look what he said you said to me a second ago you said you said to me in the heaven there is no sin and now you are asking me if is it a sin this is a contradiction you said to me it's okay to have sex with men you said to me it's okay to have sex with the children it said it's it's it's, it's okay to have sex with animals and now you are saying to me is it a sin well, in the earth i talked about the earth it is a sin. in the heaven in the heaven it's sin. okay so in the heaven of allah you can do all things which was considered to be sin in earth correct Yes. Okay. That's the thank you. The, okay. Thank you for calling, my friend. Thank you for calling. I, you know, I, I cannot really stay long, Mr. Karim. Thank you very much for calling me. I really appreciate you. You are a nice gentleman, and may Allah uh, uh, protect your penis and uh, keep it for the day of judgment, because you will need it a lot. I mean, obviously, this is the religion of penis, and I am not really interested in such a religion. No, no. Sorry, I cannot. I cannot take any calls. Sorry, guys. That's it for today. We will take not any more calls. But as you see, guys, here we go. This is Islam. Any comment? Any comment? Copy this video. Post it around and let people listen and learn about the madness of this cult. This is this is religion. This is God. I go in heaven, have sex with my mother, have sex with my daughter, have sex with my son, have sex with my goat, have sex with the rabbit, have sex with the with the children. And you say to me, it's okay. Even have sex with pictures. And this is coming from God. Well, I believe that to have and to be in love with this, you have to be a perverted person. Sorry to say so. Does not, that does not fit with the qualification of what the one we call him God for he is holy. In the house, in the house of Allah, what we see is a bunch of hippies have no panties. And their penis never go sleep and all what they do they just uh, screw around it doesn't matter if it's your mother your your son your daughter your, your it doesn't matter who 
anything you have a hole, just go for it, even if it's a disposal machine. That cannot be from God, my friend. If you are a Muslim and watching this, please think 100 times before you go to sleep. Ask yourself, can this be from God? That cannot be. This is a devil trying to tempt you with your penis. This is the devil. Even he promised you a river of wine, a river. I mean, he, he said in the Quran that the wine is the meat of the devil, but yet Allah is going to import the devil of the, the, the devil made wine to, to the heaven. <laughs> Madness. Madness is stupidity. Obviously, Muhammad trying to tempt men to die for him, to fight for him, so he can get his glory to be a king. Imagine now if I can convince all of you how many people are listening. One thousand. If I say to you, go and die for me, huh? and you will get paid in heaven, and just send me your money and send me your wives. That's what Muhammad did. He made a chapter saying, any woman she want to give herself to me so I can bing bing with her. The fifth from every attack is to my pocket. The best of the attack is to my pocket. If you want to speak to me in a private, you have to pay me. Muhammad is God. He fooled those people. This is why you see someone, uh, uh, you know, he wanna he wanna go to heaven. He commits suicide bombing because he is he is desperate to go there. He wanna go and get those pictures. He wanna have sex with Michael Jackson. He wanna go and have sex with Muhammad himself. They are not in love with Allah. They are in love with their penises. This is why you see the promises is a promise made for men, but the women there, they are just sex toys. Because Muhammad, he needs fighters. He do not need women. So all the promises is made for the man, the benefit of the man. There's one hadith says that the women, she will be 70 times more pretty in heaven, which is very stupid, very silly. Because if you are 70 times more pretty in heaven, nothing change. Just to show you how silly Muhammad is and how he's trying to insult you. If we have a woman, her name is Fatima. We will call her F. And there is a woman, her name is uh, Khadija. We will call her K. And there is a woman, her name is Aisha. We will call her A. And then Fatima is a three time more beauty than Khadija. Khadija is one time beauty. And the second one is twice more beauty than Aisha. And now we make them all X by 70. Nothing changed. This one will be 200, 210 times more beauty. This one will be 140 times more beauty. And this one became 70 times more beauty, but nothing changed. You were ugly in earth, you're still ugly in heaven. Sorry, it's fooling you. Stupidity. We have a guy, his name is Ras. He's trying to call me. Hold on, I am interested to see this Ras. Hold on, Ras, I'm going to call you back. You see, I thought Ras is very upset, and I don't like to see a Muslim upset. It's against my uh, policy. I don't like to see Muslims upset. I never made a Muslim upset, by the way, all my life. That's why they like me very much. Uh, Ras, let me call you. Because I think I saw that you, you tried to call me, right? Okay, I'm, I'm going to call you myself. Answer, Mr. Ras. How are you, Mr. Ras? Prince? Yes, my friend. How are you? Are you Prince. are you upset from me? Do you hear me? Hello? 
I heard you. I saw you in the text saying this guy is a fraud. Why you don't want to talk now? Do you hear me? Oh, hold on. Maybe Prince. maybe his voice is not coming to him. Hold on. Hello, Prince. Okay. Do you hear me now? I heard you. I saw you in the text saying this guy mute, is a fraud. Mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Can you hear me? Yes, mute YouTube, please. Sorry? Mute YouTube so we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Yes. Russ? Why are you upset? You say you, 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 you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything. Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome. You and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, 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 I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin. I'm not smart Listen, like you. We think it's sin due to our social okay. structure. If, if, the, if Zach and I, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. You know, I, I have not, I don't know you. you. Okay, no, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and Naik, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and Naik to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and Naik mm. in heaven, mm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and your Zach and Naik in one bed. But it it wouldn't be my. It would be it wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven. Think of it as anything can happen. Oh, anything can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Naik having sex with your sister in the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what they can say, this is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I've, I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why you, your sister and Zach and Naik and you in the bed and you don't see that there's something wrong with that? Why do you think there's no, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay, I, due, due to our social like structure and mm. morals, yes, mm. it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Hmm. Yes. What if what if somebody want to have sex with the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him? If it's in heaven, yes. So the Prophet, he will take off his panty, he will bend over, and we will see somebody doing him from his behind. In my in my heaven, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And uh, do, do you think you will be hurt if somebody do it to you from your because you're a man? I mean. I think that would be hurting real badly. Do you think Allah will ease your inner pain? No, no, listen. It, that person, whoever wants to do it, mm -hmm. he would uh, he would be able to do it in his own uh, time and space. A time and space, no problem. But he need his penis too. So you are a man now, and the man he want to do sex to you, and now you know because you are a man. Unless you are used to it, I mean, it's going to hurt badly. Do you think Allah will make it easier for you when he, when a, when a Abdur he do? I would not. I would not be the one that he does it to. I'd be. Why? Uh, you you like to do it to men. You don't like men to no, do no, it to no, you. No, 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 no. It'd be a different me in a different time and space. Ah, uh, so your anus will be bigger in the heaven. Okay, I got that. No, so, no, no, no. So what no, do you mean? I am different me. You are saying different me. I don't know. A me in a different time and space. I, I understand different time and space. I get that, you know. I, what? Okay, explain to us different time and space. What does that mean? Let us see uh, what, what I try okay. to say. For example, you can have a dream about someone, mm -hmm. but that someone may, it's not the person in real life, real time. Oh, okay. So you can dream about someone, not necessarily he's from real time, but he will become real for you, right? Yes. Okay. So what if you dream about something real? You can dream about someone real, right? Uh, yeah, yeah yes. okay. So if you have a dream that you have sex with Muhammad Ali Klai, uh, yes, my answer is yes. I just explained to you. Look like you are waiting for it, like because you said, like, yeah, yes, like, wow, man, look like you are dying yes, for that. Because day. you go in a loop because you repeated the same thing. I said yes already. Ah, okay. So, okay. So, my friend, after you spend all your day having sex with men and women and your mother and your sister, as you said. Do you think don't you think this is like really weird? I mean, what is the, what kind of heaven this heaven is? It is weird because due to our moral and uh, human minds. Yes mm. But once you go once you go to heaven, you are free from that mm. 
so you are in the heaven of Islam let us make it clear for the audience me and you in the heaven of Islam you will be free from your moral correct yes which means you will you will have no morality sir sir what you said that in the earth we have moral in heaven we don't have moral correct it's a social 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 structure yes yeah so in the heaven of Allah we have no moral we can do whatever we wish so if my 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 neighbor he have a wife I can jump over his window and I can do being bong with the wife right your desires will happen yes okay that's wonderful and what what will make that of you I mean uh, that will make you really happy you think this will be a very happy time for you any any of my desires will have be able to happen yes hmm. If that okay. someone is happy, then they'll be happier. I, okay, no, my friend. I don't know. The the one before you, we asked him about having sex with your daughter. He said there's no problem. Yeah. Is that the same for you? You don't have a problem having sex with your daughter. In heaven? Yeah. I don't care. It's heaven. I'm already dead. Okay. No, no, in heaven, you are not dead. You are alive there. You have a real penis. No, I'm in dead from this world. Ah, okay. So in the heaven of Allah, you have no problem. Uh, somebody actually is asking me, what if somebody, uh, 500 men, they want to have sex with you? <laughs> let us say let us assume you are very handsome you know you are handsome very much and there's 500 men they want to have sex with you so what we would do now you are it's okay for you they would love them um, hmm. sound like it's they, very something you like very much okay well no, you know no it's just in the time and space that each man will be able to imagine whatever they want and it will happen hmm. okay well, I don't know. This is a very interesting religion, by the way. I don't understand what your problem with that is. Uh, for uh, I, I'm sure you don't understand because you are coming from different uh, world, my friend. You don't have a problem with anything. Having sex with your mother, with your sister, with your daughter, with the goat, with the donkey, men with men. I mean, this is the hippie religion. Okay, where do we you think have... that having uh, many wives is wrong? In earth? Yeah, any, any, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible says don't multiply your wives. How many wives did Solomon have? It's not God who taught him to do that. Solomon, he, you know, and David, they, they, they asked God for repentance. They pray for God, saying, "Please, God, forgive us." About having multiple wives, what about Moses? About all, Moses all, also. About, about, all about the sin. You know, so you, uh, uh, things happen in. Uh, oh, so each prophet okay. Uh, okay, had multiple friend. wives. Okay, my friend. Okay, my friend. My friend. Even Abraham, Abraham, the father of those names, he have two wives, correct? Yes. But it's not God who taught him to do that. So. And there is a certain time where people so they you can't hold, eat unless hold. God tells you to eat. You hold can't that. walk until no, 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 unless no, God no, tells no, you no, to walk. No, 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 no. There is a certain time Sorry. where even in the in the in the beginning of Adam and Eve, a brother he have sex with his sister. Is that correct? Sorry, sir. The children of Adam and Eve, they had mm -hmm. sex with their sisters. Is that correct? In order to procreate, yes. Right. Okay. So because at that time it was a special, so it was okay. But after that, then Allah came, says, you cannot do that. So to a certain point, it was okay. So they did not receive an order from God yet to say, no, you cannot do that. Now, you as Muslims, after you go to heaven, you only see, mixed it. You, you, see, you mixed it. I, no, said, I did not mix it. I did not mix it. You see, no, for I me said, as a Christian, have sex with, my friend, uh, my friend, my friend, the proof that it's wrong to have many wives, that we Christians don't allow having many wives. You can have only one woman. And one man and that's it not many wives in your religion you can multiply as many as you wish you can have four at the same time but there's no limit which mean I can marry four now divorce them after 10 minutes and then marry another four divorce them after 10 minutes and they marry four etc as long as I can afford it there's no problem and the same time I can buy as many as the slaves I can have sex with them but you're not not only this your madness goes go beyond to the heaven of Allah where in the heaven you do nothing but having sex with everything around you, including animals, you see, including okay, women, see, what, including what children. What is the point of heaven then? What is the point of heaven? Okay, so the point of heaven for you is holding your, your penis around and having sex with anything you no, no, I'm asking you, you, I'm asking you. If, if you can't do it, your desires don't happen in heaven or of, what is the point of the well, actual the, he the heaven for me as a Christian, in the heaven we will be free from those things because the first desire I have is to, to be free from needs. You see, when they ask Jesus, the Jews, they ask him, a woman, she get married from first husband, second husband, so she will be the wife for the who in the heaven. He said, what he, if you want multiple wives? Hold on. You cannot. You cannot. Because simply, the heaven of God is not about sex. The heaven of God, that you will be a different being who enjoy freedom. I know, I know. You worship him forever and ever. I already know. Yes, we worship him, yes. But in the same time, we are not worshiping him because he will give us a penis and a vagina. 
we worship him because he will share his glory with us and we will be free from slavery because six that is, a, is slavery that is slavery no no it's the opposite yes, you're worshiping sitting there worshiping forever and ever isn't that no hell. this is not a slavery because we believe in a free will nobody is forcing you don't worship him if you also oh, you don't have to no. worship him no no my friend you know i don't have to worship him yes i don't have to because you i, have I can i can be i can to. be a pagan like you who kiss a black stone worship a vagina who kiss it and lick it but i choose not to be so it's a free will now you as in the heaven you, you have free will in heaven hold on you have free will in heaven Yes, because simply I will be free. This is the free will. I will be free. Okay, so you free. have the free will of having uh, as many wives as you want. No, the free will is to be the same as angels, which means we will be pure. This is the free will. My free will there, I will not be having the nature of sex and food and etc. Okay, said, that's not free hold will. On, let free me explain will to you. Is let me explain the to my will friend. of doing my whatever friend. you want. Listen, listen. No, no, let, no, me, let me explain free to will, you. Free will means being able to make a decision. Yes. without being affected yeah, but by your anything else that's correct but because now you are different nature you will be the same as angels you are not a human being who is carrying his penis and desire sex you will be different creation and you will be different person so he said he and she they will be the same as angels what angels are about they don't have desire for sex they don't have desire for food they don't get hungry they don't need to eat they do not need to sleep so we will be free from all our needs so we will be free and this is the best best promise God can give you he give you your freedom you live as if you are not God but as if you are a person who is a close in nature to God you will be free from all the needs you don't and happiness will be different so you Muslims you understand happiness from the west and down for us we Christians we understand happiness from the heart and up we will enjoy the glory of the Lord to be with him and we will be free from our needs in Islam, you will become a slave of your needs and he will increase your needs. So your penis cannot even sleep no more. So now you have more needs of sex. Your penis need more men and more women and more goats and more watermelon to have sex with them. So you became addicted to sex and you are a slave of sex. So your God don't give you freedom and There's joy. Only pleasure your God, that. no, my friend. Okay, anyway, thank you very much for calling. Uh, uh, I, I did call you because you said the Christian prince is a fraud. But look who is the fraud here. The fraud is the one who promised me I will have sex with my mother in heaven. I will have sex with my daughter. I will have a threesome with Zach and Nick with the sister. That is the fraud myself. This is cannot be from God. Anyway, you can call me anytime you wish, but today our time is up. Uh, guys, did we have a good time today? Was it good? All right. It's look like the new year bringing us more Muslims and more people are leaving Islam. So we want to say thank you to the Lord for what he provided us today. With all the knowledge we shared and all the good people they are here Christians Muslims and all because I believe at the end of the day all of us we are seeking the truth and there's many of us we are good people who are seeking the good God the good God my friend is not a pimp the good God is not a person who provide penises and vagina the good God is not a pimp who work in Las Vegas the good God is the Messiah so be here be holy like your father be holy the heaven of Islam have nothing to do with God that is madness. What we heard today is nothing but madness. It's nothing but crazy. If you want to learn more about the sexuality in Islam, you can go and get my book, Six and Allah. It's two volumes. And you will see what you cannot believe. What you heard today in this session is nothing compared to what you will read in the books. Islam is really a sick cult. And they try always to fool you. And they say to you, Islam is a good religion. I advise all of you, to maybe the video is long you can cut from the time when the Moroccan he start and post it around and let everybody learn about the heaven of Allah and trust me you will find a lot of people listening and learning and always if you try to contact me or to come to my page you will see the banner in the screen uh, where it says battery on or you can go to minds.com and you can follow you will see always I post my video there so to get updated where is my channel in in, uh, in YouTube minds slash christian prince that is my page always you can get back there and you can go and subscribe to my facebook too if you wish to do so and battery on and i am in uh, instagram as the arabian prophet i want to say thank you for being here may the lord bless you all of you and enter we'll see you soon again christ is lord and he is the good god and no one like him and allah for sure is nothing but a scam and here we prove it every day every moment 
and nobody can prove us wrong we give our glory to him for he is the one who provides us with knowledge and he is the one who provides us with right words to say and I apologize if I offend any but I am here to offend many because the truth always offend and that's the purpose of saying the truth is to offend you so you will see how bad it is and then you will fix and correct yourself thank you may the Lord bless you and happy new year from a Christian Prince love you all thank you and thank you again for those who made donations I really appreciate you God bless take care